Virgin Ninja, bro. I'm just gonna spam them with friend requests. Okay, we are, we are beginning. Hello, viewers. This is TU Gaming, <laughs> Trinity <laughs> University Gaming. Uh, do you know who they're playing? I'm not sure who they're playing. Mm. I have no idea, to be honest. Oh, they're playing at uh, Cornell College. Look in the um, okay, I'm announcements typing. chat. I'm typing so hard. Wait, for what? <laughs> for the Twitch. It's okay. It's great. Everything's great. I need to check again that you're good on draft wall. Okay, we're gonna try to pull up the draft here once we get it going. Gaming! Woo! All right, yeah, so in case you didn't catch that, it's gonna be our maroon team playing Cornell College, which this will surely be fun. What's the um, Twitch account called? I think it's or Trinity like the... University Gaming. <laughs> oh, I see it. All right. Trying to get this draft pulled this up. This is funny. Loading. What? Can can they can they hear me in the um on the stream? All right, chat. Can you hear them on the stream? Let us know if you want to. Okay. Gonna go ahead, and here is our lovely draft. All right, we're still waiting for them to set up. Who is who has your favorite champion design, Blake? Who do you think is the most intriguing? My favorite champion design? Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm not sure to be honest. I I kind of like the new um skin for set that came out with the uh the world's one, the Night Blossom Chroma. I know it's not a skin, but. But what about the lore? You're trying to be a good caster right now. You're the lore. Great. Who cares about the lore? What do you mean? That's hey. We got the funny clown in the, in the sad sad mumu. Sad mummy. No we don't need lore. Did. True. And I play one of my mains is Velkaz, who's a just a tentacle void monster. Okay, but like that's that's connected to the void, you know. <laughs> I suppose. I'm really tempted to join their team. <laughs> I see the join. Okay, wait. I just tried to go to the. Uh to watch the stream on my phone and I can't hear us. <laughs> really? I could hear us. Oh, okay. Then maybe it's it's a me problem. That's great. Why does why is there not a Twitch like browser and it, like uh what's it called? Like you have to go onto like Chrome to like view Twitch now. Huh. Is that how it is for you too? On my phone? No, 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 not on, not on the phone. Like on the on my PC, it whenever I like try to open Twitch as like a icon, it tells me to. It says the Twitch desktop as, app is no longer with us, so I have to. They shut it down on April thirtieth, apparently. Oh. And then I have to fucking. So it yeah, sucks it's lame. to suck. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, so we're just waiting on the teams to get set up, but uh, 
I'm excited to see, oh, what our um, lovely team can pull off. <laughs> Hold on, a friend's calling me. Okay. So it looks like on our red side, we're going to have Cornell, and blue side will be Team Maroon. <laughs> my, my friend Ruben called me because mm -hmm. he needed someone to call him so he could leave this like lunch because I kept talking and he... He had to be like, oh, oh, my phone's calling. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I hope he had the volume turned up because uh, I was saying very sexual things. Oh. Controversial. Booty call. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I gotta go right now. I have to leave right now. Yeah. Okay. That's just data energy from him, not gonna lie. Interesting. Speaking of booty call, which which league character? Out of all of them. Which league character? Which Oh, you're asking me which one I'd hit? Yeah, yeah. Not your path? I mean while we're waiting. Oh. We might as oh, well. Okay. Hold on, let me go to my let me go to the champ. <laughs> um How about how about I give you a champ, and then you say Smasher Pass. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some controversial opinions, but sure. <laughs> All right, let's start off. Let's start off simple with with uh, Akali. Oh, Akali for sure. I mean, she's got the whole knife <laughs> thing going on, and like the the mystery mask. Yeah, definitely. All right, all right, all right. How about how about Chogoth? Ooh, okay. <laughs> I just I just don't see it working because where would okay the draft is starting so wow <laughs> <laughs> blue side gets to ban first okay looks like they're gonna get rid of that twitch and the Caitlyn Zach oh everyone had a plan ready so okay they're banning out the Caitlyn Seraphine which has been known on Trinity's side to be rather aggressive and or suppressive. You know, good on Cornell. <laughs> They're banning the Malkai. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so maybe Josh has been playing a lot of Malkai jungle. <laughs> Interesting. I hate Malkai so much. I, there was this one time I was um I played him top and I lost because he went grasp and then he was unkillable. Maybe you should have killed him. Okay, we're seeing the Yumi pick. I tried. Try harder? And Lulu. Okay, so we're getting our support picks out first. I'm I'm partial to Lulu just because of the, the potential with that W polymorph. Oof, the Lulu Hecarim. That's gonna be that's gonna be kind of brutal for Trinity coming in here. I I always love playing really Lulu Hecarim. Huh? Where 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 are they streaming draft lol? Like where are you seeing it from? Oh, it's it's in the chat in League. Like if you go to League and scroll up, they sent spectator draft. Okay. Oh, bruh. So looks like the Trinity Maroon bot lane is going to be you oh, misfortune. Oh, there we go. Which I mean, misfortune's pretty either. strong right now. Yeah, for sure. But They'll just have to watch out for their if Ekram ganks with their lower mobility. Right. I mean, actually, MF and Yumi together, she's going to be so fast. Oh my gosh, MF, Yumi, Udir. That's, that's just a fast <laughs> team. They're just going to be running around. Yeah, if if Udir is able to get some uh, kills early and he's able to get Yumi attached to him, it could be pretty dangerous for Cornell. 
All right, so it looks like we have our bot lanes and our junglers all picked out. Both junglers pretty mobile. Gonna be, it's gonna be all over the map. I'm getting a feeling. Who do you think has a better match in the bot lane so far, the Misfortune Yumi or the Lulu and Jinx? I think early the Yumi Misfortune is gonna be pretty oppressive, but I don't think you can underestimate the Jinx. You know, a lot of people say you just have to wait for her to scale, but you know, she can she can pull out some tricks, especially depending on how good the Lulu is at putting pressure on the MF Yumi. Okay, Silas ban, Vigar ban, Victor ban. Okay, good on them to ban the Victor, because I don't know if any of you guys were with us last stream, but it was a, a very interesting moment. And the Victor just won both games for sure. Zoe. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. I'm looking and does at the stream and it's a gray screen. <laughs> <laughs> does Hakaram um does Hakaram go tank or does he go like more of an assassin build now? Or is is it can he go both, or like or like either? Uh, I think they can go both. So it'll just depend, I guess, how squishy the mid laner and top laner Trinity ends up picking. Okay, yeah, we see the Orn Fiora match up top. Uh, I'm not a top lane player. Anyone know how that works out? Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure Fiora has the advantage in this matchup. I'm pretty sure Fiora counters Orin. Not for sure, though. Mm. And the Syndra. So maybe you can watch if, and if learn the Fiora is able to, skills. If the Fiora is able to time it right, I'm pretty sure Orin loses this matchup, like with her counter. All right, all right. So for anyone new coming into chat, just want to remind everyone, this is going to be the Trinity Maroon team going against Cornell. And we're just about finishing the draft. Ooh, here. Syndra. Are you behind? Syndra got a um Huh? Oh no, I was looking Anivia. away. Okay, okay. Um Anivia I think Syndra. Syndra has an advantage in this matchup for sure. She's just really strong right now, I would say. Yeah, after the rework, uh on her abilities, uh it's it's I don't know, she's just busted right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Her win rate in in Platinum and above is like really high right now. I think it's like fifty three. For sure. And there's this new build for her in Korea that's like Night Harvester, I think, because now with that she like uses less mana as the game goes on, you can go Night Harvester into uh Shadow Flame. So I'm interested to see what uh Maroon team builds on Syndra. Alright. <clears throat> They still don't have all the players in here, but at least we have this draft picked out. So yeah, looking at these team comps, do you have any early predictions? Um, hmm. Is, is Udir good, but early, earlier or later game? I can't remember. I don't know if he hard scales or not. I feel like I have seen people with the occasional level three gank, but I am not sure. <laughs> I think I think the game will depend a lot on how the Hecarim plays on um, diving the Syndra yeah. and the Misfortune in the backline. Because not if he's able to get some good kill. dives in. Yeah, if they're easy, be able to get some dive in on because Syndra only has one, has her E to push back. But other than that, she's pretty like susceptible to like ganks and stuff during team fights. So it, I'm interested to see how like team fights will play out with the Hecarim. Right, and then this Udir is gonna have to be pushing into a Lulu Anivia, which just peel yeah. wise that's going to be <laughs> somewhat frustrating so yeah because they're engaged they're engaged is pretty much only you dear with like theoretic follow so 
Yeah. But they do have a lot of true damage with um, Fiora and Syndra. Syndra's new abilities gives her more. Uh, gives her more. Uh, what's it called? Um, true damage. And Fiora's ultimate is also true damage, obviously. And they'll be pretty pokey with the the Yumi MF Syndra, I think. Yeah, for sure. I think I think if if Trinity is able to um, poke down uh, Team Cornell enough, then they are gonna win team fights. But if if Cornell is able to get um, good engage, then I think Trinity's gonna be in trouble because they also have the they have the Orin they have the Orin R to engage the Hecarim. They have the Lulu for Peel. They have a lot of CC, or CC engage, with an AVR as well, so. Right, and I'm just trying to think if Trinity has any super good ult combos other than just the Yumi MF, obviously. And... Um... Let me see. They're all, like... Their their team looks really good for like duels. So like, mm -hmm. like Team Cornell is really st going to be strong in team fights. But um, I think, well, Fiora Fiora is going to be pretty strong as split. Like all, they're all personal alts. I feel like because Udir's works into his kit. Fiora's is her um, her field that does true damage. Syndra's is a single target. Misfortunes is really the only Misfortune and Yumi are the only really team ultimates. Yeah, so I guess just depending on how they position with the Jinx Anivia, like how Jinx and Anivia positions might dep like change the whole game, just if they can get those picks or not. Yeah. Before Hecarim gets them. I think, yeah, positioning is really, really key here for um, Cornell's, Cornell, because if they get picked, they're going to be in trouble because all their, most of the... T uh, most of the champs on Team Trinity have a uh, good pick potential. All right. Looks like we're waiting to get in this game here. Nanos. Hmm. Is Orin good at split pushing? Um, I've seen Orin s split push. I feel like I've seen that in my games. My games might not be telling mm. of what people are supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> and hot hair elo, I've yeah. Seen it. I don't. I don't think Orin usually split pushes. So, Fiora split pushing here would be really good for Trinity. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't think anyone is. I don't think anyone will be able to one v one a Fiora on their team, except for Orin. Maybe Hecarim could. Yeah, I don't know. Really want to play League now. Oh, there's spectator delay. Yeah, we have to wait. But yeah, if you... Yeah. Obviously, the people in chat are going to hopefully be cheering for Maroon, but um, let us know if you guys have any predictions just based on the draft. Right. <laughs> so you said you wanted to pick up Syndra. Yeah, I did. I played her a couple times already. But, I mean, she's in a mobile mage, so she's really susceptible to ganks. But her scaling, hmm, Anivia against Syndra... I'm pretty sure Syndra will win. 
-hmm. Just because it's so hard to engage on Syndra just because of her her QE. It just pushes them back so far. And she can just run away, but not sure. I haven't I don't think I've ever seen a Syndra and Nivea matchup. Because Syndra hasn't been popular since recently. Or more popular since recently. Yeah, I just for some reason I have the association that Syndra does just like a lot more burst damage versus Anivia is more just for the the utility. So like her stun and then her wall and her um, to slow and kind of set up Hecarim. Well, obviously mm, she does damage. I mean, Anivia's so. utility is good. Uh, yeah, Anivia's dam or, dam or her utility is good, but as long as she has peel or some, if she is able to get CC, she does she can do a lot of burst damage. Just not as much as Syndra with her like Q W um, Q R. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of scared with this Hecarim situation going into Syndra, but we'll have to see who's faster, Hecarim. MF with Yumi on her or Udi? Because <laughs> <laughs> also Lulus are known to go Shirelias, so an even faster Hecarim, of course. <laughs> of course. And also, like, <sighs> hmm. I would have thought um, Trinity would have gone more um, CC. Yeah, all they have. I'm just a lowly be... gold player, though, so. Yep. But. Very lowly. They have Syndra. Um, they have they have the slow from Yumi Q. They have Yumi R, and then they have Syndra E, and then I mean I guess I guess they're here and there, but there's no like hard CC. Alright, I'm looking at the skins. Okay, and we are in. <laughs> Into the darkness. Hmm. Yeah, you have Jinx to... goes, uh, what? Yeah? Do I, do I have to do something for it to play? It takes a second, then you can like click on the timeline. It's just kind of awkward. Okay, yeah. So now you should be able to, if you click all the way to the right, you'll see him loading in. Gotcha. <laughs> and <laughs> off we go. Hey, Shame's doing a uh, five point. Yep. Nothing spawn. too out of the ordinary just yet. Hmm. Looks like Misfortune is playing for, I mean not Misfortune. Jinx is playing for a later game with Ghost and Lethal Tempo. Oh yeah. I think that, have they have they nerfed Lethal Tempo yet for ranged? I don't think so. I'd have to double check. Oh wow, the the MF Yumi combo is kind of spooky over here. <laughs> Skin wise, <laughs> okay. Anivia's got an early stun onto our Syndra, and Anivia, Anivia's gone for a more aggressive um, laning phase as well with Ignite. I think most Anivia's go teleport. All 
right. You see just a little casual walking up here, playing for the bushes in the bot lane as you do. What is this? Oh, okay. Look like Udyr paused there to um, <laughs> get out of vision from um, the uh, opposing Anivia. Very smart. Okay, some trades bot lane. Kind of a mundane start, but we're gonna see maybe some ganks in a little bit. <laughs> it looks like the Hecarim and the Udyr might meet at the. Uh, Mid to bot lane scuttle. Right. And we are seeing. Dude, you might go for a gank here. He's. Uh oh. Okay, no, he's gonna go for scuttle. So Udir and. Looks like Udir and Hecarim are gonna meet here. And we'll see Hecarim kind of walks away a little, decides to give it up. Just because it's. Cinder hit with a root again. Okay, some trades mid lane. Okay, we see the Udyr walking through. It looks like he's gonna push mid lane for Syndra. Syndra does have a problem, a little bit of problem with early wave clear with her low mana. So I guess it was a push for this uh, help on Scuttle. They got this is good for Team Trinity. They've gotten double Scuttle. Oh yeah. Okay, Looks like Fiora had to make an early back. Might be going, coming down bot right now. Uh, this could be, uh, this could be unfortunate for Trinity. Be trouble. MF flashes, Looks like they'll make it out okay, away. though. Yeah. Oh, turning. She used here. Cleanse and Flash. Yumi used Exhaust, and Hecarim used Ghost. So that was definitely favorable for Trinity. For sure. Big wave up top coming in. From... Oh, they should be able to live that. Yeah. Yep. And here comes Udyr. Hecarim did just appear in the... Um, oh, he just backed. He, he, if Hecarim had, had stayed there for a second longer, it could have been bad for Trinity, but thankfully he had just backed. And that's going to be a kill for Trinity. No. no she so close. Get away, little rat yordle. <laughs> oh, and Tr Syndra. Almost with the... Um, Kill on Anivia's passive. Doesn't look like she'll be able to kill Anivia, but it's good to get the passive down. For sure. Oh, but Hecarim's coming up through the river, but they know, they know. Yay, warding. Uh. Oh, okay, I thought Hecarim was gonna little, come back. Udyr's there anyway, though, so she could always come happening. through. Just for uh, Gromp. Oh, Gromp and Raptors. Syndra needs to be careful here, and in case Hecarim is able to. Um, Cause she doesn't have any vision there. Yeah. Virgin Ninja. Raw dog <laughs> Oh. Okay. Sinjin knows he's there now. Maybe back off, chill out a little bit. For the most part, pretty even. Each team with about an 8.2 uh, K gold. Yep. Okay, we see bots pushed up. They're maybe rotating a little river vision. Today, just in case, dragon is a Syndra is here. very strong now, so we'll have to see what happens with Syndra into um, mid to late game. Yeah. Okay, we see Udyr's coming up top over here. Just trying to. Escape the jungle, okay. And Fiora does have a nice CS lead over Orin. And she's running Cole. I'm at Cole, so. Right, Trinity with a slight advantage to top off, lane. But Trinity had vision. There we go. <laughs> Looks like Hacker Hackerum's not posing too much of a problem so far. Yet. 
<laughs> Once he gets that six, though, he'll be running at you. Yeah, it'll be a little bit of a different story. In a store near you, you can get attacked by Hecra. <laughs> Right, and we're seeing level sixes coming soon. Very exciting. Oh, since our miss cannon FF. <laughs> <laughs> Anivia still doesn't have her passive, and Anivia is very squishy. So, oh yes, we're gank ping. Hecarim's also close by though, so you're gonna have to be careful about it. Oh. And that's a Nivea flash. Oh. And Hecarim and Udyr. Uh, Team Trinity still has prior on that though. Just because of how strong uh, Syndra is. And it looks like Syndra is going to run the regular um, build of Ludens. Uh oh. Team Trinity might be in a little bit of trouble here with uh, Hecarim coming up. Fiora's, Fiora's still hitting wave. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Fiora knew that they were just going to lose that one. Pretty late first blood at eight minutes. Oh no! <laughs> and Syndra dies as well. I think I don't know what the were you watching the mid lane fight? It so. Syndra got kind of stuck in the R and E, like of Anivia, and I don't exactly know where she was trying to flash to, but she just kind of flashed right next to the Anivia. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that was supposed to do before, but... Three's down uh, now, 0-2 to two kills. A 1.5k lead for... or uh, gold lead for Cornell. Alright, and Fiora's using that TP just to get back to lane. It's still okay though that Syndra conceded a, a kill though, just because of how, how hard she scales. And Hecarim's coming down mid lane. Oh, never mind. He's warding for Herald. Alright, hmm. looks like they're gonna try to get that Herald and, you know, Udyr's clueless in the bot lane. <laughs> oh, we see some action top. Just, you know, uh, unlucky on yours. <laughs> I think I think Fiora accidentally pressed her uh, her counter the wrong way, but mm. it was a good attempt nonetheless. Despite Udir, uh, Udir's not Udir, what's it? Orange poke? Uh, Fiora is managing to withhold a pretty substantial uh, CS lead here, 80 to 62 gold. Well, minions. It looks like oh, uh, Anivia and Ekarim is coming down yeah, to contest they, drag. They Bot lane's gonna have vision. to rotate. We have to. Okay, good. They've rotated. They should have secured drag with that. Jinx is gonna be late. And it looks like Udyr's Okay, Hecarim on the Syndra. The Syndra is a little bit out of position, and Syndra goes down. The MF ult comes out. But with Syndra down. That's gonna be red side taking dragon. Lulu um altered Hakarim, right? I believe so. Yeah, Hakarim's gonna be a problem. Just Syndra, Syndra got polymorph, so she she couldn't use her pushback, so she just got dope easily. Mm -hmm. So it does look like their their the lack Yumi. of CC is gonna be a little hard. Does Yumi have enough peel to keep up with? This Hecarim Lulu combo. Oh. Maybe she does. I mean, she survived the Jinx. Barely. <laughs> okay, see some Yumi stuff. Hecarim's coming here. down. Misfortune could be dead here. Yeah. Oh, oh she's. Oh, yeah. And dies. Yumi should be. Well, now she's running. Okay. <laughs> and I, thought, I, I thought Hecarim. Yeah, I was like. He does not care about the cat. <laughs> Trinity is not in the best position right now. They do have first drag, but... Um, or no, they don't even have first drag. Yeah. Yeah. No, no 
clear. It was hex factor eggs too. They are now around with that tower. They are what? Three, four. Yeah, around three five, or no more than that, like three three eight down and gold. Cinder taking a little bit of poke. Top lane still being pretty pretty stagnant, but Orin has pressure right now. Yeah, I think we're just gonna see can the Cinder buck up and. Maybe with a Yumi on her or something, they'll be able to survive the heck around Cindra's, there. Besides Syndra's, uh, yeah, for sure. Besides Syndra's, um, uh, like, no mobility, she is very squishy as well. You see from that one Q from Anivia, how much damage that just did. And Anivia flashes and secures that kill. And it's 0-5. It's quite an interesting. Syndra went um, ignite electrocute a very aggressive build for Syndra, which I mean, it, it, electrocute is the was the was the most popular build. But I've seen a lot of um, oh, top, and Fiora is also dead. Looks like Trinity is going to struggle in this game, unless they can pick up some traction. But um, anyway, the. Build of running. Um, what's the what's it one? The inspiration one that gives you uh, more gold. First strike. If Syndra's first strike build. A little Lulu abuse. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good try from Syndra. It was warded. All lanes are pushed in here for Cornell. We can also just note this vision difference. I mean, that's another issue with the Yumi is you'd have to either bring your ADC along or go on your own. But just this bot side and setting up for drag, we can see how many points of vision and like a clear line. Red Very side true. Has. You can just see from this bot side uh, jungle that the amount of warding that is done from Team Cornell and the uh, lack of with Trinity, be probably because of the Yumi uh, attached to the misfortune. Okay, a lot of a lot of pings up here trying to catch this Hecarim. See if we can do it. But, you know, Hecarim's fast. He uses that ghost. Misfortune coming in. Maybe with a good alt they can get a kill here with the Yumi. Okay. It looks like they're going to secure Ooh, so close. one kill. Unfortunate. I think they have to back off because of the, one, got the shutdown. Lulu and the Jinx. It was just a snack. Just, you know, a little appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> See, they did it at 150 really shutdown and objective bounties are um, coming up as well. Ocean Drag spawns in 25 seconds. How do you see when Ocean Drag spawns? Like when the Drag spawns? Uh, I just saw someone put it in chat, but oh. I have a timer for... I use just like Porfess or whatever for my timers. Oh. Mine is disabled for whatever reason. <laughs> yep, and just that consistent vision by this Lulu. We're now getting set up early. Fiora's going for a split push here, maybe for the objective bounty. Go and Ocean drag, drag is... It looks like they're willing to... Um, cut their losses and going for a split push tower here. And maybe try um, to get that, uh, the rift Herald. world here. Yeah. Looks like there's going to be a team fight. I think uh, Fiora's going to have to come down soon. And the thing is, is just red team's going to be so dominant right now in team fights with the um, 4k gold lead and just how good their ultimates are. It's going to be really hard for Trinity to get these object these early objectives. Looks like we're going to get the Rift Herald.
And you can see from the um, vision score that uh, the Lulu has 23 vision and the Yumi has 8, so it is very evident that there's a that how much vision impacts the game. Yeah, for sure, and you can just see right now the clear line happening. Sure. I never thought about Yumi like that with uh, uh, with vision and stuff. Yeah, you know there are Yumi players that uh, can kind of make up the difference and go out on their own, but especially with like this Hecarim and then a Nivea's burst, it's kind of dangerous for a poor little kitty to get going all alone. And Nivea's in a little bit of a dangerous spot right now. Okay. But they don't know because they don't oh, know. Oh, misfortune. Vision. Yeah. Oh, right, and Misfortune's Hecarim coming in. I'm at on, that on the misfortune. Okay. Good Yumi CC. Misfortune might be able to burst him down. And she there it is. Ult, but she gets the heck around. Udira with the peel. They could get a uh, one more kill here, maybe. Okay. And Nivea's, and Nivea's coming up. They're going to have to watch that. They do have vision on him, right? They just destroy it. Okay. You think it's out? Hecarim with 12 seconds left on the respawn. Looks like Fiora's gonna come back to a split push and Orin's gonna meet her. Udyr coming down to push out bot lane. Trading happening up top. Poke, poke. Oh. I think Fiora's going for an all in here. Just might be, but starting at half health, we'll have to see who wins these. Oh, that oh, counter is gonna. She's gonna be in trouble now. She missed that counter. She's not gonna be able yeah. to lock that CC. She's gone. And with the the orange flash, that's it for Fiora. Looks like Syndra almost got walled off, but she was able to evade it. And <laughs> the, the ghost... Oh, okay, oh, there. Oh, Udyr got it. Uh oh. Syndra's gonna have to be really I careful with the Hecarim right there. Oh, Syndra flash. Warren's gonna be uh, pushing out top, so Fiora's gonna have to go back top to meet him. They got Herald as well. That could be Tower. Uh, looks like they're gonna back and then regroup at drag, maybe. Oof, and she knows. <laughs> Fiora could win it now if you use her counter well. Okay, the ult's coming up. That's a lot of damage. And that's gonna be a kill for Team Maroon. Nice, okay, so three to seven. Maybe they're coming back, maybe they're not. What do you guys think? About the same amount of gold difference, 4k, but now they have a uh, top prio with Baron, so it's looking like uh, Team Maroon can turn around. Especially with the um, Fiora's strong split pushing potential. Akron's coming around back trying to get that vision. Lulu and Jinx are coming around the middle. That's right, you can see the Sparen fight. Hecarim goes in so long. Oh, this is going to be Team Maroon. And Nivea is slow on the rotate. She thought they were going for drag. Oh. Nice kill on Jinx. Hecarim's really low. Wow, and you have to wonder, maybe if Anivia had been there, that fight would have gone different. <laughs> for sure. You know, Cornell's able been... to get them off the uh, Baron, but... For at what cost? <laughs> the Orn and Jinx having to sacrifice for it. They are going down to this dragon now. Probably gonna be able to get it. With the Udyr dud. 
Yeah, they're gonna be able to secure this drag here. A little bit unfortunate that Udyr was be able, was picked and they weren't able to pick the heck around because then they still could have stuck Baron maybe. But since Udyr was still up, he could have uh, came in and smited maybe. Three dragons for Team Cornell. Some One more and they'll get skull. Oh, looks like they could get a pick on Orin here. They can burst him fast enough before Anivia gets there, they'll be able to kill. I don't think they will be though. Okay, good parry. Woo, through, right through that wall. Our nation has had a little bit of trouble with his counters. Clicking them the wrong direction. Uh oh, they're in trouble. They're a little bit of trouble. Yeah, both Or Team crossed. Cornell. Oh, that Shirelia's. Yumi alt down. They're gonna be able to kill this uh, Nivea. Oh, uh, and that's Syndra, Syndra down. Syndra. Yeah. Looks like Syndra's having a little bit of trouble with um, staying alive in team fights because of their low uh, peel potential. I mean, it is hard to stay alive as Syndra without any hard peel just because of how um, low. Sh oh! Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, I think just that tried and tested Lulu Hecarim combo is going to be very difficult for Trinity to manage. Yeah, I agree. I think Syndra's playing, trying to play a little too aggressive as well. I think maybe mm -hmm. she stayed a little bit more in the back line. She might be able to survive a little easier while dishing out a little more damage before she's dead. Right, and Cornell does get that top river scuttle. You're just going to have to be careful here with Jinx and Anivia. For sure. There's always a Hecarim around the corner with that ghost. <laughs> yeah. But Fiora might be able to split push and just get this objective bounty on that bot tower at least. Could be. Looks like they looks like they might be going for Baron here because Fiora is split pushing. But Fiora does Let's see have if we can maybe. Online. True. I think she might she might teleport after she takes. Yep, there it is. Baron's almost being pretty low. They're gonna have to engage soon. Maybe kill this Hecarim. Oh, it looks like they're gonna kill the Hecarim. Very good. Now on, now on to the Orin. Misfortune wasn't able to get enough peel, and uh, and that Anivia field is doing a lot of damage, but they were able to get them off Baron by killing the Hecarim. Aw, oh, sure. unlucky from Syndra. They said, we're not done with you yet, they're chasing down this Udyr. Oh, um, and Udyr goes down Udyr with Yumi. Yumi. At least Syndra's alive. Knock on wood. Now it looks like they're going to rotate to Baron again with four out of five Trinity University members being down. Syndra's so probably going to have to back or push out top lane. There's not really anything she can do about it. There is now a, about a 6k gold lead for Cornell, along with three dragons and now Baron. There's a back from the Cornell team. The training team is probably just going to be um, uh, getting vision around drag and making sure that their lanes aren't pushed out too far. Yeah, and... I'm actually thinking about the whole vision thing again. I know I keep talking about it, but noting just that there's this Hecarim, it's very important to have the vision against Hecarim. Otherwise, he'll just come over a wall out of nowhere on you. So I mean, I that's just hurting them. 
Doubly. I mean, I agree bad. with you. Look at, I mean, look at top lane. How the top line went, uh, fight <laughs> went. Look how many wards, um, <laughs> Team Cornell has, um, and they were able to get that pick on Odir and Yumi that um, gave them the Baron. So it just shows how important Vision is. So they're going for their drag and Niviana. Odir's in trouble. Spot. Dear, if they can get if they give us this pick on the Anivia, that could be big. Aw, oh, Lulu R on the Anivia. They're still on Dragon, Misfortune R. They should be able to get the Anivia, that's big. They got the shutdown on Anivia, looks like they're gonna get Soul though. And Team Cornell gets Soul. Syndra should be okay. Oh, well, here comes a ghost from Hecarim, never mind. And Syndra, oh, is not okay. Syndra looks like, oh, they could get a pick on Hecarim here. No, they don't have the damage output for it. Fiora should be okay with a counter, yeah. And Yumi. They're gonna have to skedaddle. Bold lead is now around 8k for Cron 8k lead for Cornell. Looks like they're gonna inhib and maybe even first tower. No, okay. Looks like Team Cornell's gonna back. They have all four dragons and Baron is still up, so that is a quick back. Looks like. Hecarim wanted to be a little risky and go for red buff. And there's the Hecarim back. And I mean, just look at the vision around Drag again. They have four wards on Drag. They just see that they can see where everyone is. Yumi has 18 vision score with comparing to Lulu 73. They're just gonna run it down mid with their Baron buff. See, maybe we can get this. There tower. shouldn't be much of Baron buff left, should there? They're just finishing it off, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nivia might be catching Fiora. She manages to get away. <laughs> and there's even a ward right behind <laughs> Fiora. <laughs> Somehow, magically, it's appeared. They have vision everywhere. Gotta watch out. Big Brother is always watching. And by Big Brother, I mean a level 12 Lulu. <laughs> oh, Joe's taking big damage. Syndra's, Syndra's oh, come Syndra out. Oh, that could be big. The, Combo manages to get the shutdown on Jinx. And it looks like Syndra's almost full has full stack. She has one of seven out of one twenty. Which means most of, if not all of her abilities have been have reached their second tier. Syndra went Shadow Flame and now Syndra has gone Dark Seal. And I've noticed that Syndra has been playing a little bit more back in team fights, so maybe, maybe this could be big for the Team Trinity. From yeah. Hikram. Ashram teaching or Hecarim teaching uh, harsh harsh lessons. They're all top lane. Looks like there might be a fight top lane to contest that tower. Nice uh, stopwatch from uh, Syndra. Clearing the wave. Okay, and Fiora's just bot making sure the whole base doesn't explode while Papa's gone. <laughs> Papa's Udir in this case, of course. <laughs> I feel bad. I think the stream is is lagging hard. <laughs> I don't know if, if my PC has the, the strength for this. Oh, okay, great. Yay. They say the stream is fine, even though I'm not sure it's fine, but that's okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's my end. All right, yeah, just kind of, they're gathering up here. The Baron coming in in about a minute. Yep, just that oppressive vision with all the pinks everywhere. They are quite literally everywhere. <laughs> no, like actually. There's still one on Dragon, even. I know. Looks like they might be setting up for another Baron, even though it spawns in like a minute and 30. 
I think it's in 30. Or no, it's in 40. Yeah, 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 right. It's like in 30. Yeah. My bad, my bad. No, you're good, you're good. But yeah, just, they're all set with all these wars. Um, I think Fiora's just trying to scale up. A little orange dance for everyone. Slow push. Oh. <laughs> okay, Man, Tim 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 in real trouble here. They don't have jungle. they don't have any vision. Just especially with the all all their ults are kind of comprehensive fighting in the jungle. Still haven't started Baron. They're gonna I think Team Cornell is trying to bait them trait bait Trinity, but now they've started it. Very high damage from Team Cornell here. They're almost done with the Baron. Oh, wow. Looks like Team Trinity's gonna concede the Baron. Oh, they try to steal. They're looking for a team fight here. That was a good, okay. good CC. Pekram goes in. Fiora is really Fiora. in. Oh, Team Trinity with the advantage in the fight, maybe? No. Mm, the Orin just on the MF. Yeah. The Orin is just so tanky, especially with um, <laughs> Mountain, <laughs> Mountain Dragon. He's just, they just can't kill Baron. They can't burst them fast enough. Pinnacle and that's going to be um, Team top. Trinity's loss right here. It's looking like it, yep. Yeah, the tankiness from Orin and them getting Mountain Drag. Them them being able to make the Hecarim really tanky with Lulu R and Mountain Drag and the Orin being tanky with CC, there was just it was just hard for Team Trinity to keep their carries alive. And then Anivia's utility and damage was just too much. And that'll be game. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna see if I can just pull up this scoreboard. <sighs> All right, yeah, so just that Jinx and Anivia damage. Got a sting. Yeah, the um the Anivia played a really big factor here in this game, as well as the Hecarim, just in how much just engage and utility that team Cornell had over Trinity. I'm just gonna warding go up. Yeah. They can see these vision charts. Oh. I tried to click advance and nothing came up. Yeah, it's not <laughs> working for me either. I'm oh wait, excited. wait, I got it now. Oh, did it like load for you? You just have to, like click on it, like the click on the thingy, like the little uh, um, drop downs, and like after I spammed it hard enough time, it dropped down. You just have to click the arrow. Okay. <laughs> okay interesting. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Wow. Wait, what? Oh, those are controls. Uh, vision score of the Cornell support was eighty-seven, and. 36 was for Yumi, so <laughs> it's the vision. Vision looked like vision played a big, big, uh, had a big effect on this game, as well as utility the utility of Team Cornell and the dive potential of the hacker room. Yeah, for sure. So we'll see how the comps differ in this next game. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see what is going to come out this next game but you know we're keeping it hopeful it's a best of five Right, and so, yeah, we're just gonna wait for this next game to get all set up. Whew.
yeah, I'm just still thinking about it. Just the vision against Hecarim is so necessary, and they weren't able to, you know, satisfy that quite in the way you, we would have liked. I think Team Trinity might have thought that the split pushing potential of Fiora would be able to offset their um, ability to team fight, their their lack of ability to team fight. But it looks like that they just fall behind, fell behind early, and got. Uh, and Team Cornell was able to get so many objectives that they just didn't have the resources to split push. Yeah, for sure. And then, oh, it's just so unfortunate how everything played out. Yeah, I agree. Well, yeah, we're staying positive. We're, <laughs> we're going to get this next one for sure. <laughs> So are you going to want to spectate this one with me, too? Um, hmm. I mean, you can leave partway through. I just, you know. Hold up. Okay. Uh, my girlfriend's calling again. <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriendly duties. Indeed. Give me a second. The things you do, chat. The things you do. Okay, looks like we're trying to get this draft set up for the next one. So I almost wonder if we're going to see any Lulu ban, any Hecarim ban. We'll see what they do here. All right, we've got the beginning of this draft here. I'm going to go ahead and answer my own question while we're waiting, you know, bathroom breaks and such. I think a character with really good design. I feel like visual intrigue wise, I really like, where is she? The, the mother, Belveth. She's very scary and hot and mommy and then story wise ooh, i mean with arcane coming out i feel like jinx is really intriguing and then i do like leona and diana i think their dynamic is very tragic and heartbreaking and whatnot okay we're gonna get this draft started so let's see how the bands have changed at this point. Okay, still banning the Twitch. We're still scared of that situation. Oh, maybe they picked the Yumi to keep them from picking the Yumi. That might explain that, maybe. Okay, same ban. Caitlyn, Zach, Seraphine. <laughs> they do not want to let our bot lane on the Caitlyn, Seraphine. And, you know, I've played against it, and I can see why. I can tell you why. It's it's not a pleasant experience. I would... It's not a verb I would use to describe it. Okay. This next van, ban, maybe we'll see the Hecarim. I don't know. Okay, they're banning the Jinx. Yeah, they did do a lot of damage that last game. And Maokai. Okay. No Maokai for you, Josh. They, they shut that down early. <laughs> Alright, first pick coming out. Let's see what we can get. Aatrox, alright. I've returned. Welcome back, and you know, I've seen Eric or our variation on the Aatrox before, you know, 
it's pretty powerful. Aatrox could be pretty strong. I'm not sure the matchup into Darius. Do you know? Oh, there's the Hecarim. <laughs> Let me see. In... Is it the same link? Uh, it's or did they send they a... sent it. Okay. But... I think I might give commentary in this, and I think I might go to do my own leaguing. <laughs> own leaguing? <laughs> I'll, I'll spectate your game. <laughs> you don't want to spectate all your those. mistakes. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more of those. Maybe they'll take these the Lulu away. Perhaps. We'll, we'll you know, I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't ban Hecarim. Yeah, I know. Maybe I, I haven't seen Cornell's stats, but that Twitch and Zach must be scary for some reason. Yeah, and it looks like they banned the Jinx. The Jinx did do the most damage last game, as she should. As she should. <laughs> I'm really curious. They might take the Lulu here. Okay, they they go for Janna. I I like Janna for the peel, especially against the Hecarim. So that might be better into that. I think um, Hrox got somewhat nerfed in the recent patch, oh. right? I'm not. So sure. I I don't know anything. <laughs> I look at patch notes just to see if my champs get nerfed, and then I complain. Yep, Lulu Hecarim, tried and true. Yordle riding in on a horse. Yeah, in the most recent patch, Aatrox got nerfed. His passive um, was changed from 100% to 80% post mitigation damage. Not a big nerf, but I nerf still nonetheless. I think he'll still be pretty strong. I, I don't want to eat my words, so mm. I'm going I'm to say tentative for now, but you know, we'll see. I mean, Aatrox is just such a skill. Like, it, it'll just depend whoever's playing him. I've never seen our nation play Aatrox, so. Okay, ban Trundle. Ooh, they ban the Anivia. Ban the Uyr. Uh, ban Vigar. Looks like wow, they're, they're gonna they're ban going the. They're going for Josh, you know, they said, I'm banning you out. <laughs> Looks like they really like the Hecarim Lulu combo from last game. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty strong. But I am, once again, I like this Janna pick here for the Hecarim. I agree. And this will also um, be better for Vision as well. Mm -hmm, for sure. Okay, Zaya. I, I haven't seen Zaya's recently. Hmm. Have you? Into Have a Kai'Sa? I don't know. I mean, it could be a good pick against Kai'Sa here just because after Kai'Sa uses her R... To engage if if Zaya uses then uses her R yeah, to you know she has no movement yeah and R. then yeah so that could be dangerous I'm not sure though I don't play bot lane oh, ho, ho. okay here's the victor we have Virgin Ninja on the victor victory is assured just kidding <laughs> but you know it's it's looking a little more hopeful if once again if you're here last and V game, for victory yeah V for victory and you know Virgin Ninja goes hard on that victor. And then, <laughs> but apparently nothing else. <laughs> Damn! Uh, Damn! Don't name. hey, it's don't be name. a hater. Hey, hey, it's in the name. Okay. And we have this. Looks like they went for a uh, better engage with the Sajwani here. Looks yeah, like they have a more balanced team comp this time. Yeah, a little more CC coming through. Ooh, Dot is gonna be. Oh, Diana. I think we'll be okay Lulu. here because. Hmm. I don't know about the matchup, but tell us about it. Hmm. <laughs> it's a little more complicated than last time. Let me think. <laughs> You're the resident mid lane expert. Oh, uh, with the with um Diana versus with versus Victor. I'm pretty sure Victor has an advantage here, just because Rain. Victor's yeah with it well with his poke, but also his field, his little force field thing. Because if Diana comes on comes in on him and he uses the force field and she gets trapped in it. Then she's going to be in a little bit of trouble, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it plays out, depending on if Diana has flash or not. She'd flash out of the field, so I think it depends on if she's able to keep flash up for a one v one. And if Victor's able to poke her down. Right. Okay. Well, I'm excited. Okay, looks like we're getting ready to start up this game here. 
Who do you think has an advantage um, for team fights here? Team fights. You know, I think Cornell has a lot of good ultimates for team fighting, but we'll have to see. I think it truly just depends on the Kaisa and Victor's positioning, just because, you know, Victor Kaisa, not the most mobile, specifically Victor, not the most mobile champ. And this is true. It's still a Hecarim getting speed boosted by a Lulu or whatever else is happening. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna have to see if... Yeah, it's... Hmm. These... Man, Hecarim is just... Hecarim's always good. Hec There's never been a time when Hecarim's bad. <laughs> just because of his high speed and gank potential. Hmm. They do... Team Trinity does have a lot more TC and peel, though. So I think they're gonna fare a lot better. They have the... The tank, Sejuani, and Bruiser Aatrox, so I think I think it's gonna be for Team Trinity, it's gonna be how well Sejuani engages and how well Aatrox is able to stay alive and do uh, deal damage. Because hmm. Jana should be able to peel for the Kaisa when Hecarim comes in with her R and her other abilities. Victor can use his cage. So, well, yeah, but there is the case of Hecarim and Diana engage. So, yeah, but Jana might like have to use her stuff for one, and then they. I might feel have like an for the other. Team Trinity's like comp has enough range because like Kaisa can either like kind of she can either go in and on, on a target or yeah or kind of play off to the side with her speed Jana and Jana can peel with her you know with her abilities Victor can also play like I feel like I feel like for Diana's alt like most of their team Trinity isn't going to be caught in it just because of like where they're going to be positioning but I mean I could be wrong That's I think fair. team Trinity I think team Trinity might have a little bit of advantage um when <laughs> it comes to team fighting I'm seeing some so so shout outs in chat what does that mean? Oh, uh, like someone in chat sh was like, go so so. Oh. Yeah. Our favorite Jana player. <laughs> it's fine. I I'm okay being the second favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna do nothing for three minutes, guys. So, what about you guys? Who's your favorite champion design? in the game put it in chat if you want or don't it's up <laughs> to you you're the master of your own destiny, destiny. thanks that's where i was going with that <laughs> you ever thought you ever thought about being a streamer audrey <laughs> no it's like <laughs> like because i hate dead air and like yeah that's like half of becoming a streamer is you have to like fill dead air constantly it's like that's horrible that's that's so true strange. especially if you build if you're streaming on a delay yeah but also like if you're building from nothing nothing yeah like and no one's in your chat you're just like talking to yourself like well like yeah i mean i feel like to become a streamer like you have to like i feel like you have to kind of get popular on uh, on a place other than streaming because like twitch's algorithm is pretty bad so like you'd have to like either like get really good at it like to, I don't like, know that's what I've seen um, like either like you're like a social media like you know or like you're really you're pro at a game or like you get tracked in elsewhere and then you go to Twitch that's what I've heard at least but I don't know okay. I'm not trying to become a streamer I also <laughs> no, have trouble filling dead a air lot of research on it so you might <laughs> did you try I think I tried not... once and like I streamed here. for a little bit but it was more just like just because why not? Like, I wasn't really... Yeah, I didn't it. really think it was going to go anywhere, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think um, it's an interesting idea, but I'd have to be... Like, I'd have to get a better setup. And I'd have to be... Like, you have to be either really entertaining or really good at the game you play, and at this rate, like, both of those. <laughs> yeah. Also, Having a good setup is expensive. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't think you have that. Have to, I don't think you have to have that good of a setup. Well, you need there's, like, at least there's a, one a passable 
camera, or I guess you don't have to stream with a camera, but that's more. There was this one guy who got popular because his shit was so trash. <laughs> like he had like his mic was just like, like whenever he talked in it, it yeah, it was like that. Okay, cheering on oh. Spurs. Go Spurs, guys. Spurs. Where's Where's the oh, Virgin yeah, yeah. Ninja love? Where's Where's the love for our top laner, and our jungler? Come on, guys. Top lane doesn't get any love ever, so. I believe in you, Eric. <laughs> sounds sounds like bias, casting bias. Casting bias. Nah, you're gonna do trash for sure. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, good. Very. It's good. like it's like I the thing it. with like break a leg. You gotta like say the opposite. Your dog shit. You're actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. Spectator delay. So engaging. I've been so I'm not going to lie. I'm already queued in a rank game. No. <laughs> Are you actually... Wait. Pause. <laughs> Are you actually... Yes, I'm queuing for a rank game. Are you even spectating? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, watch the stream and say things, even though it's like 30 seconds delayed or something. Okay. Or, I don't know, don't be loud about it if this is what's happening. <laughs> Why not? It's okay, now, now you won't talk over me because you won't know what's going on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. I was a volunteer. Watching. I was a volunteer, therefore... I mean, you're, I can... you're kind of voluntold. I'm like, hey, you're, do you're doing this. <laughs> because I didn't want to do it alone. You called me a beta, so I assert my dominance by queuing into a rank game. Okay, Omega. That's crazy. Ah, oh, fuck. I got filled top. <laughs> That's what you get. Ooh, okay. Skin game. I like the Janna skin. KDA, Kaisa Classic. Meh. Psychops Victor, it's okay. Firecracker Sejuani's pretty good. Just last time I got filled. I... Last time I um, I got filled mid, or I I got picked mid, and then I um, they dodged, and so I got filled top, and then I uh was like, fuck it, I'm playing Syndra, and they were like, oh GG, Syndra and then we top? won. Yeah, and then we won. What what did you have to lane against? Uh, Mortar Kaiser. And you won? Did you yeah. lane? Well, uh, I mean, I did okay in lane, but, like, I gained so many stacks on Mordekaiser that I just, like, um, in team fights, I just destroyed people. Okay. But, I mean, it was okay. Like, I didn't, I wasn't, like, a throwing or anything. Like, I actually did play, like, normal. Oh my god, what are these noises? <laughs> All right, guys. We're we're waiting. Almost. It's gonna. Okay. There we go, guys. And we are gaming. Okay. Where? There we go. Okay. Look at our our little guys. Look at them go. Probably gonna do a five point setup again just at the beginning or maybe they'll date someone may do something interesting i'm scared you're just gonna keep going all right i see this is something interesting i keep seeing so so do just kind of get up here in the business to make sure nothing weird's happening how much is the um league how much is the league, um, tw like Twitch stream on a delay? Like, how much is the delay? The stream, I think, is only 30 seconds. I don't know. I'd have to check. It might be longer because. The, um, league? There's like oh, it's like delay. it's like 30 or less seconds because I just heard myself say the same thing. Oh, I feel like that's. Because is this for a tournament? Not sure. Okay, guys, we're not cheating. It's it's okay, guys. Everything's fine. <laughs> nice save. Shh, it's a secret. 
You shouldn't have asked, you're setting us up. <laughs> okay. Leash, leash. Monk, bonk. I mean, 30 seconds or more is like. That's a lot of time, though. Especially in Lee, but you know, you yeah. never know. What we're gonna I mean, if you're staying, if you're staying in the same spot for 30 seconds in league, then <laughs> something's wrong. Yeah, it's worth considering. Is it a you problem? <laughs> okay, some some Janus sass coming out here. Let's see how the victor's doing. Playing it safe under tower. Boring top lane as per usual. <laughs> Ooh, lands a tornado right on Zaya. Zaya is Zaya is running cleanse. Ooh. Hmm. Wait, why is Zaya running cleanse? Maybe for oh. late game team fights? Because Kaisa and John, I don't have really a lot of CC beside the tornado, and I that's a knock up. But I don't think you can cleanse knock up. Maybe set later. Yeah, that's all I can think of other than the the knock up. Interesting. Ooh, looks like Sejuani might be going for a gank up here top. And not looking perfect for Darius here. Arius? Isn't that his name? Darius? Darius? Whatever, bro. Hey. Whatever. And first blood <laughs> on TU. Okay. It's already looking better this game. Okay. A fun little scuttle fight. Let's see who the champion From last game, Trinity actually had a advantage early game with the double scuttle and slight gold lead. Okay, so maybe so hopefully they can keep the it. Scuttle, it's like a reverse. Now they'll succeed. Is that how it works, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, so it looks like Hecarim got both scuttles there. Mm. But you know, anything is possible. I don't see anything too bizarre. Oh, wait. Stopwatch room on Gem? Is that a normal thing? Interesting. New tips for me to pick up. Sedge might be going to <laughs> a gank here, and they have vision. So they get away in the nick of time. Looks like Victor's spending a lot of time just under tower. I mean, yeah, Victor has to be uh, careful. Yeah, especially with Diana's all-in potential for sure. Okay, and I am seeing this same thing with the line of vision though, for now. I'm gonna give our Janna some time. I'll be gentle, but, you know. <laughs> the chat talking about Eric on Aatrox. Well, we'll see, we'll see with the, the Aatrox nerf. Oh... So many things, such little time. Hmm. The dragon is up. Don't see any action for it just yet, but Hecarim is bot side. Oop. Is he coming? Nope. Oh, he might be just trying to... Oh, what? <laughs> Interesting.
way it's pretty. Ooh, great tomato. So so or S O S O. And we're gonna see Cornell starting dragon here. And does blue team wanna react? Yep. They're on their way. Grub's on his way mid. Oh. You're good though, thankfully. Our little, our Bridget Ninja is safe for now. <laughs> Let's go. Bridget Ninja is safe, Just dog. Just a line of pink wars. Oh, okay, they're going in on this Diana. This Diana R. And it does not matter. Get clacked. That's a kill on our victor. So, there we go. Unfortunate. What do you mean? No, no, like on him. Like he gets. Oh. Him. Yeah, I'm watching. What do you mean? I hate you. Okay. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just still noticing the vision diff. I can't. I can't get rid of it in my mind. Just... Is there a vision diff still? I mean, not like it hasn't been long enough to be sure yet, but like. Kinda. I mean, they buy more pinks. I don't know if they're useful pinks, but Cornell does buy more pinks. Got you. <clears throat> All right, this Rift Herald is up. Is Hacker gonna go for it? Let's just say peekaboo. in this way, seeing what we can do while the Lulu was away. Yeah, so, no super substantial CS death, but you know, Cass is a bit ahead. Okay, they're gonna try to collapse on Darius here. He pops ghost, pops flash, doing everything he can to get away, and Peck goes in ult. Oh, that's Nunu flash. Oh, and Darius gets Nunu. Aatrox forced to flash away. Can Eric live? Oh, oh, but the victor has wandered up here. That's his flash, but he gets the kill, so that's two for one. Uh, and a few platings mid by Diana. He pays back, but you know, that's money. But just pokety pokety. Ooh! Snipes the NATO, but it gets, takes a lot of damage from the Zaya. Okay, the vision around mid is doing a little better, especially with how Hecarim misbehaves. Yeah, okay, we're really seeing that victor poke in on Diana. Okay, we have Janna in the mid lane. Just playing around, seeing what they can get right now. Tekram's going bot. Okay, we're trying to get this rift perhaps. Oh, or not. Okay. Hmm. 
approved our Sedge hovering nearby. But Dragon is gonna be up in 30 seconds. Are, are they gonna decide to go for the Rift here? Okay. Yeah, so Sedwani's on that Rift, but Kaisa is getting Dovin. Oh, Hecra miscalculates. And Kaisa gets a kill for that one. And Janna's back. Oh, the peel, but... Oh, Kaisa does die. Okay, support 1v1. The wave is not in Soso's favor. The NATO, ooh, hurts more than you think. Oh! Ah, and Soso does manage to get away, but... You know, a little scary, and Diana's on the way, so... And so what is your, um, what are your thoughts on, uh, late game, faring for each team? Late game? Uh, ooh! Diana's getting spicy, okay. Late game... Mm, let's see. Okay, Darius is building anti-heal. Trying to think about Kaisa and Zaya. Oh, but the victor scaling nicely. I think it'll be pretty pretty even actually, just based on the champs. Um, shut down. But you know, I'm I'm believing in Trinity right now. Ooh, victor just got shut down as I said that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Do we victor believe for in the Trinity, win? Guys? Do we believe in Trinity? Yes. Of course. Yes, we have to come up with a, a chant. Okay, maroon. What are the letters? In maroon. R, wait, M A R O O N. What rhymes with N? Oh, oh, M A R O O N. Trinity is bound to win. That That's good? a good one. Did you like that? Yeah, this good. I did like it. Okay, if you guys want to put that, I'm going to type that in chat for everyone. And red team is getting the dragon. Yoink! Cornell gets the second dragon. Still none on Trinity. But, you know, we're maybe gonna get this top tower? Nope, not quite. Not even. Well, maybe. Okay, yeah, so it looks like we do get the first turret exchange. Kind of an exchange for that dragon. We're seeing the Janna sass in the bot lane. Lily's still playing those bushes, but you know. What are you gonna do when Kaisa goes on you? What is the um, objective and gold lead for each team? Um, it is ahead by like less than 1k. <laughs> and then uh, Cornell has two drags, and Trinity has one rift and one tower. Oh, but we have a four, we have four people bot lane open, oh, and they're just going to use, use a lot of things, trying to get, oh, but they only get the Janna. So you sent four bot, and you only get the Janna. Your Darius is dying top lane, again, your Darius is four <laughs> deaths. You're Cornell, how do you feel? Sad? A little bit, perhaps? Poke in the heck. Okay. Ooh, the 2v3 action belt ring. Do a little reset here. Oh, Diana is alone looking scrumptious in the mid lane. I'm just gonna get the slow off. Victor's poking, and there's Sedwani fucking you in the butt. There you go. Oh, what? what is this common play? Oh! Said Ronnie flashes too. There we go. Yoink. You don't like my commentary? I think it's entertaining. Chat, let Sejuani. me know. Is it, is it so fun and charming? Or is it pretty fun and charming? Those are the only answer choices. A and B. So, let me know. Oh! I have... 
I have to reconnect. I'm sorry, guys. That's awkward. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, so it's, I guess, league hiccup. I'm on the way back. <laughs> you guys get to come on this journey with me. Technical difficulties. But yeah, I am still confused about that uh, clutch. Okay, okay. Here we are, guys. This should be about where we were, yeah. Right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Wow, just, I'm still looking at, there's three pinks down for Cornell and I think zero pink style. So yeah, still a slight um, differential averting that. and mid and bot have traded for both sides. It's like there's a drag coming up in a minute here. And now it's just trying to establish their vision. Do what they gotta do. Okay, Trinity has some vision, guys. Maybe they've been listening in, or maybe, maybe I just ordered them with my mind. I'm a puppeteer of the entire Trinity Maroon team. No, no, because yeah, they right. should have lost. Yeah, that's why they lost. They let me practice my puppeteering, and um, then I picked Yumi. <laughs> All right, looks like a team fight might happen here, and Sejuani's a little separated. Are they going to be able to catch that? Oh, goes over the wall, and they get the Lulu. And you know, the Lulu had all the power, really. For sure. Get the Darius and Diana's just messing around bot side for whatever reason. So, imagine what could have been if Diana had been there. They're maybe rotating for this rift or just towards the top side. Ooh. Nice try. Nice try, so so. And it looks like Aatrox is gonna get started on the rift. Hecarim is nearby though, so we'll see. He might head there before he's done. It looks like he's on the way. But there's also a bot lane there. What the heck? A smite. Oh! He doesn't try for it though. Okay. Interesting. He's a little more hesitant this game than we saw last game. Ooh, Kaisa! Oh! She has to R, but she gets away in the nick of time. Wow, that Zaya's hurting. Okay. Take back what I said, guys. Maybe Zaya is good. Mm. Right, Baron is now up. I don't think anyone's gonna be too worried about that just yet. Why go for Baron when you can Aram mid? True. Exactly. How's your game going? It's going horrible. The the ADC is rage, raging because so he thinks the support is bad and the jungle's inting and haven't gotten a single objective. <clears throat> yeah, maybe if it was a team of you playing every role, it would be going better, right? Oh god. Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> okay. I'd throw jungle. I was about to say, that was a trap and you failed. 
<laughs> it's it's a humble trap. Lulu backing, kind of a questionable. Okay, no one cares. Great, perfect. <laughs> All right, Jana Sass. Once again, as she should. M A R O O N. Trinity is bound to win. Knock up on Zaya. Ka chow. Alright, we're centering around, around Baron here a little bit. Trying to see what we can do. As per usual, Cornell has the superior vision set up. Oh, Diana's going in. Janna has to flash away. But Kaisa gets the Zaya. And that is a 200 gold shutdown for our Kaisa. Yum, yum, yum. Clearing up some vision over by Baron. Eating some fruit. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, so it is looking pretty good for Trinity here. About a 4k gold lead coming into this 23 minutes. We see Diana's being a little sassy, but immediately punished for it, of course. Clear up vision. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know this Kaisa. It's one of the better Kaisas I've seen. Oh, Look what? Go. Look at him go. <coughs> wow. Great CS. So good. Why would this dude first pick Braum into a Varus? You lost um, that fast? Yes. Hmm. Maybe you should have just kept uh, spectating. That's crazy. <laughs> he first picked Braum into a Zyra Varus. Or I'm at first played. He was last pick, so he picked it into a Vara Zyra. That's Interesting. Like... That's suicidal a little. Okay, Hecarim might be trying to go for a, a gank at 24 minutes. And nope. Oh, oh. Aatrox wants a piece of that. Hecarim. Okay, he's good. Alright, and Blake is gone. I'm gonna try his best in that game against the Braum. <laughs> okay, they're thinking maybe we can catch the Darius here. You know, centered around the Baron. Oh! Kaisa is able to stop that back. And Jenna with the knock up. And they're able to get the Darius. Alright, and. Uh, Tiu Maroon is on the Baron, but trading it for Dragon. You know, depending depending how they use it, the Baron might be the better choice here. We'll just have to see. We're gearing up for a team fight here in the mid lane that Cornell wants no part of. Sejuani ult comes out on the Lulu. She's forced to flash, uses Shirelia's. Blast comes, anything to get away. Lulu ult. But, you know, they spent everything, but they got the Yordle. That's all that matters, so using your Yordles. Don't forget if you haven't today. Please abuse your Yordle. Okay. Eric on the Aatrox, sassing. They get the Hecarim. Okay, Zaya R comes out. Ooh, that's some flashes. <laughs> and the Victor R doesn't quite get the Diana and Zaya, but they are forced to back away. And that's gonna be Tower, maybe Inhib for Trinity. Okay, we can see they kind of chose not to get the Inhib, you know. Don't give them the extra gold from it. They are going for this top tower. Yeah, forced to back off. Right. Yeah. 
So we will see Fernald does now have objective bounties. T is doing a lot better. And, you know, it's just Virgin Ninja on on that victor, you know, where they belong. Of course, they're very powerful. And you know, something about the Lulu Hecarim is just not operating the same, whether it be that Janna Peel helping out a lot for our Kaisa and Victor, or if it's just, you know, the mental, the mental tilt, you know, coming off of such a great game to suddenly be 17 and six, you know, could be a little tilting. See, they're gonna go for this Darius, and if they get this, this is gonna be the second time Darius is caught out trying to split push. They send four for this. Poor, poor top laner. That is unfortunate. Oh, and the same is happening up here. Let's see what Eric can do. Can he run? Can he kill? Okay, so we kind of trade both top laners, but uh. Our Aatrox did have that 300 gold bounty, which is now on Diana. Could be worse, could be better. Could have been on Zaya, but you know, could have been on Lulu, so we'll see. She's very focused on getting these turrets down, but Hecarim is foot pushing top and might be able to secure this objective bounty and turret. Are they going to go for the inhib? Yes, two is. And then possibly move to the mid, inhib, get those double uh, mega minions marching. Red team's inhibitor has been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, the, the four man bot, four man top, kind of switcheroo, merry-go-round, rather fun. She's kind of moving in a herd right now, a-ramming it up, but Looks like they're gonna reset for this drag coming up in about a minute. Okay, and we're gonna see how this works out. This very diligent Lulu, you know, curing vision about a minute or so before every team fight, you know, clearing it up, warding. So, gotta wonder. Is our Janna matching up? Pretty close, 53 to 42, I think. Sosa's doing a better job here on the Janna with vision rather than, you know, Yumi. You're kind of stuck onto your ADC for a lot of the game. But yeah, some of this warding is almost possibly a little excessive, <laughs> perhaps, but you know, that is just the uh, double far sights. Okay, and looks like Tiu might hide in a bush. Or, you know, they're just occupying this jungle. But yeah, we'll see. Sigwani is a little alone, but gets out smoothly. You know, Cornell's kind of forced to just defend at a certain point, and I don't know if they're going to be able to contest this dragon necessarily. It looks like they're just going to have to give it. They just kind of accept that pentagram moment here. And we're we're ARM in mid. As as we do. Running running around. When your team fights as good as theirs, you know, you might as well meatball, power ball, run in a group. Ooh. Okay, they're gonna let the Lulu off this time with a warning. <laughs> but you know. Let's look at Cornell's kind of on standby here, saying maybe we can pick this Sejuani. Okay, a little casual walking away, getting out. But, you know, something's brewing here, and Baron's gonna be up in about 15 seconds. Yeah, okay, the gold differential now is at about 6k in the advantage of T.U. Maroon. Hecarim's running around like a madman, maybe seeing if he can steal this. And Blue 
about the Nasher and Hecarim died. The end. Okay. Calm down, Eric. On the Aatrox. Kinda wanted a piece of the Yordle, but you know. Patience. Patience. You'll you'll get it in due time. Looks like Trinity is gonna get this top turret. Okay. And just looking at the objectives now, Trinity has a lot more turrets. You know, the the drags, Cornell's at drag point, but you know, you have to wonder. Maybe maybe this uh, what's it called? the Rift Heralds are a little better than you think if you're trading it for dragon. Okay, big base team fight happening here. Victor with the damage. Ooh, that Diana ult though. Diana comes in with the redemption. And yeah, that's Trinity. It's probably gonna be Trinity winning and wrapping up this second game with a victory for BM. If you're Eric. <laughs> Very good. So that is gonna be 1-1. One, one. And in case you're just joining us, this is gonna be a best of five series. And it's Trinity against Cornell. Cornell College. Okay. Yeah, so just want to make sure you guys can see, but this damage on the victor, and that's why I was just saying maybe they should ban that, you know. Maybe they should ban that, because even though, you know, Diana got close, but you can't can't beat the player. I know, right? Look at the damage. And then even on our top laner, look at the damage difference here. And yeah, so that is going to be one to one when fraternity. Yay! We knew they had it in them. We believed all along. I choose to think, you know, my chant saved the day, perhaps, but either way. Okay. Yeah, so I definitely liked that Janna gameplay into the Hecarim. The, the power of that Hecarim Lulu is really lost once you get any substantial amount of peel, peel support, etc. And, you know, Josh wasn't looking too bad on the Sedwani. I'll, I'll give him that. <laughs> and then, yeah, Oration on the Aatrox. Looked pretty good, but something about the Hecarim gameplay, I just felt like a slight edge, maybe a little, a little drama, a little unhappiness. I don't know, guys, but we will see how that works out. And I'm getting invited for our third game, and the game lobby's full. <laughs> Reminder, get some snacks, drink some water, treat yourself. It's a Sunday evening, beautiful Sunday evening. And I'm spectating. Alright. Okay, we're gonna get this draft going soon here. Huh. But yeah, I think we might we might just see a victor ban here. And I I see now why they didn't ban Hecarim, I'll say that. They knew they had the solution in their pocket with the Janna, so I, I see everything now, I get it. <laughs> a little more than I might have. Yay, okay. Just 
just waiting here to get this draft set up. All right, and let me pull this up for you guys. <clears throat> All right, oh, okay. So they did end up banning that victor. They said, I regret my decision. Uh, we're banning that, no thank you. <laughs> okay, we see the Aatrox again on Aration on Trinity's side and the Orn once again on Cornell's side. So this will be an interesting matchup. We'll see just how Eric plays into this. Let's see what Cornell will pick. Okay, and Cornell takes the Sejuani. Interesting. Just reacts with the Trundle. No. Legends of the Fjord battling off in the jungle here. That will be interesting for sure. I think, you know, Trundle's running and gunning with his little hammer bonky thing. It'll be interesting. We'll see what they pick in the bot lane here, peel wise. Oh! And they choose the Kaisa last minute instead of the Trundle. And, oh with the trundle okay doesn't matter <laughs> okay the kaisa again and, you know spurs on the kaisa that's a that's a dangerous dangerous situation okay cornell takes the mf <laughs> go virgin ninja woo 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 i mean without the victor we'll see we'll see maybe the syndra gets picked again we'll we'll find out what will cornell ban They're thinking hard about this. The first three were set. Okay, they're banning the Silas. Keep that off of Virgin Ninja <laughs> as well. Okay, so the MF Kaisa matchup. I think. Oh, and they banned the Janna. Interesting. Banning out So So for sure. <laughs> the. Sarah and Jana bands. Okay, so this will be interesting to see what supports they decide to go along with and this mid lane matchup. Looks like they're saving, saving for last. It is definitely going to be slightly tanky, annoying for Kaisa. Oh, we see a Rakan, possibly. Interesting. I haven't seen a lot of Recon picks recently, at least in the pro scene, but I don't watch that much, so we'll see Recon Misfortune. It's very interesting. But I do think there is going to be some good damage potential with the Recon ult and then, you know, Orn. Okay, we, we picked the Renata Glass on the side of Trinity. So Kaisa Renata versus MF Rakan. So just because of that range, Rakan is probably going to be a little unhappy towards the very beginning. But we'll have to keep an eye out for that level 3 and see what we can do. Okay, and we see the Swain pick mid. How will Cornell counter? Drum roll. Okay. 
Cassiopeia. 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 So, I don't know this matchup. Snake versus, I don't know, weird guy with birds. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay. So I'm trying to look at the team fight potential here. I feel like Cornell's ults just have a lot more synergy within each other. Like, you know, with the Rakan ult into MF ult, that's going to be super strong. And then even just the... Uh, Rakan Cassiopeia because the charm they'll face towards Rakan, so face towards Cassiopeia. But then on the side of Trinity, a lot of the ults are very, like, I don't know, kind of for specific scenarios, but there's the, the Renata ult to kind of, you know, give us some more hope in the team fight. So we are going to go ahead and get in this game soon you want to compensate come here <laughs> i'll let you in i'm done if you have something interesting to say you know shall i turn in my badge and rifle as well Okay. Ah, oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> okay, you're <laughs> gassing up Cammy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, we saw last game Virgin Ninja goaded on the victor. I'll, I'll see how the Swain goes, how I like it. But, yeah. Alright. I'm excited. We do just get a lovely two minutes of not doing much. So, maybe, you know, chat, list your top three favorite traits of Cameron. You know. Aww. That should keep you busy for a little bit. Top three Cameron traits. <laughs> More of a dog person, huh? Did that fan the Yumi? Buff, smart, good at gaming. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to get in there. I'm really excited to see the Swain Cassie matchup. And then, oh, but I'm just scared for the MF Recon ult combo. Okay. So, we are one to one. This is, once again, if you are just now checking in for this third game, Trinity University versus Cornell College. And this is a best of five game. Each team currently has one win, one loss. So, you know. We'll see what we can do. Do, do. And I do have to wait two minutes. So, you know, that's unfortunate. It's okay. I'm gonna look how, how about thinking about how these guys scale. I don't know, the MF can get pretty strong later, but does have pretty good poke early. But yeah, you know, Rakan is um, an, a melee champion, technically, but he does have his poke opportunities. Alright, let's see. And then the Trundle Sejuani matchup. I do think Trundle's going to be certainly a bit more mobile, but 
just CC wise. Sejuani's Ice Cubes and Sejuani R could pose a problem for this Kai'Sa and for Swain, but Swain does have good survivability and that will help, especially with the Renata on Trinity's side. And then this top lane matchup, I'm not super knowledgeable, but I, I believe in Eric, you know. It's a cool guy in my Chinese class. Shout out Eric on the Aatrox. They win these. <laughs> Do -do. Okay, and I am just looking at these bands. I do find it interesting they ban the Janna on um, on the side of Cornell just because I think the Janna was a response to the Hecarim. I don't know if they even would have necessarily picked that. So that was definitely an interesting choice, but you can tell they did not like the Janna last game for sure. Okay, and we'll see. I have seen Wee Little Otter do pretty good things on the Trundle. And, you know, of course, Variation on the Aatrox. Spurs on the Kai's the last game we saw. We'll have to see what Ikuto does on the MF. Just, especially with the combo with their Khan, kind of uncommon in the scene, but it is... It's it's been a good combo in the past, of course. And then we did see Cornell's top laner on the Orn a bit ago, and it was pretty good in team fights, I remember. So yeah, I am just kind of a little bit worried about the team fight dynamic, but we'll see. All right, guys, we're loading in here. Okay, let's see the skins. Battle Bunny MF, lovely. Ooh, Fright Night or Nada. I haven't actually seen that one in game just yet. Interesting. All right, loading in. And okay, I'm very excited to see who does end up winning these team fights. Let's go ahead and set this up for you guys. All right. Okay, and blast off to infinity and beyond. Here we go. We're probably going to see a similar five point setup. I don't think there's necessarily any better invade potential for either of these teams this time. Yep, and as we've seen before, so so doing the signature little bot lane dance to make sure no one's hiding in the bushes. If you're gonna hide, don't hide in those bushes because you will be found. <laughs> Close up for you, you cami fans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, oh claw. Wow. <laughs> Minions have spawned. <laughs> Whew. 
Sorry, I, I uh, got a little distracted. <clears throat> okay, guys. Yeah, wow. They were in the same Sichuani skin. That's not confusing at all. Huh, that is really... spooky. Okay, okay, so we do see Cornell is gonna be invading and getting this topside blue. The nice little leash. I don't think that Trinity knows. They might know now. But yeah, okay. Swin lands the hook in the mid lane. Go Cami fans. You know, just your average bot lane experience. Okay, and it looks like Trinity did get level 2 first, and they're gonna just poke, get some damage going out. No, that's what they deserve. As they should. And we do see there is one difference in these wardings that, uh... Soso started Oracle Lens, so it's gonna help with that bush control and just, you know, remaining dominant. Looks like Trundle might be looking for an in here to gank on the Cassie. Ooh, and lands the hook, but that takes Cassie, uh, Cassie Flash. So, Cassie Flash, Cassie Flash. Worth it. Bot lane still looking a little oppressive, but you know, their matchup CS. Yawn, top lane, farming. Okay, we got we got the TU fans in chat. Support. Do the chant. M-A-R-O-O-N. Trinity is bound to win. Woo! Orn took a walk toward. Okay, and it looks like Trinity got the top river scuttle, so you know, let let the let Cornell have it, have the scraps, get the bot lane scuttle. Did I say bot? You you guys know what I mean. Okay, looking at just the swaying angles, trying to get the hook. Okay, so Juani gank. Ooh. Oh, and Frundle's on the way. And that is the Virgin Ninja difference. Only only Cammy would get ganked and then the the jungler has to run away. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're seeing a little bit of the oppression that Renata serves with the the root there, but uh Rakan has a lot of sustain. They went guardian and he has his little heal when he throws out the thing. I don't remember the name, but you know, go league players, you guys know what I'm talking about. <coughs> and they're gonna be able to get this Cassiopeia mid, and that is first blood on Virgin Ninja playing the Swain. Let's go. Go Trinity. Top lane, boring as ever, but you know. Eric kind of freezing. No, it's slow pushing, it's okay. But asserting kind of this pressure, and we see the Orn's a little scared in his boots to walk up, so he's getting behind CS. That's always lovely. Kron used Ignite for no reason, naturally, as you do. We do know Cass still has no flash in the mid lane. <clears throat> Alright, so first drag is up. No one's going for it just yet. Trundle might have tried to gank, but they did have vision in the tri bush. Looks like Renata might be trying to head mid. Mm, you know, Swin's doing his normal damage, but they do have a little bit much vision, so Cassie is gonna catch that with the Renata here. Okay, so Sejuani's coming down around bot lane just with the scuttle coming up. 
Maybe trying to gank mid. We'll see what we can do. Or steal some birdies. Chicken. Rakan's looking at the mid, looking at the Swain. Oh, but Trundle's gonna catch the Sejuani. Ooh, Rakan nearly misses Swain. That's Swain flash. But, yeah. Um, Cornell is forced to kind of back off with all that Swain damage and the Swain R. Ooh, great knockup by Rakan, but does not matter. Virgin Ninja says, I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it, and fucking kills him. And that will be another kill for Trinity on the Cassiopeia. <coughs> so, okay. Three to one. It's looking pretty good for Trinity. 1k gold lead at a for pre-10 minutes. Okay. Eric's having a little fun up here. Poke, poke, stab, stab. Classic. Classic Aatrox gameplay. Wow, okay, we got a lot of got a, got a lot of Cammy fans in the chat. <coughs> Trundle's gonna gank bot to no avail. But you know, it's always worth stressing out the ADC a little bit just for fun for funsies. Still just this this dragon is up, but no one's really had the time or care to go get it yet. Bot. So mid lane, we already do see Virgin Ninja on the Swain having a pretty big lead, being 2-0 and 1. But you know, Kev's Kev's gonna lose. Yes, still behind, but you know, not not as behind as it may seem. And Rift Herald is up. We're we're gonna have to see if these junglers decide to go for some objectives. Kimmy does land the hook in the mid lane. Look at that damage on the Cassiopeia. It's just incredible what a what a trained Swain can do. And there we go, that's the Swain R, but Sedge is on the way. So is Renata. We're gonna have to see if Renata can help. Virgin Ninja still alive, still pushing. Still, still wanting. Here's Rakan and here's Trundle 3v3. Okay, they kind of diffuse. Say, I do. It's not that deep. I didn't want it anyway. But we are trying to set up for this dragon here. This port's returning bot lane. Swain decides it's probably best to head home before I get too cocky. Sejuani is on the way, bot. Oh, forces the uh, Kaisa flash. Ooh, lands it, doesn't go in for the R. Sejuani's still hovering nearby. Oh, I looked away from mid lane and our, our poor Virgin Ninja has been shut down by the Cassiopeia. I guess decided to greed for an extra wave or something. So that's unfortunate, but looks like Aatrox will pick up this wave, help in the mid lane. I am interested to see... Ooh, what is... that's a lot of vision here in the river setting up for this dragon. And both Sejuani and Trundle are nearby for this bot, maybe looking for a gank for the both of them. Do they see such when he goes in, Rakan knocks up, oh, and they're able to get the Renata. They get the Rakan in exchange, 2v2, and Kaisa is able to kill the Sejuani. So that is a win for Trinity, two for one, pretty worth. Oh, but Eric's getting a little bruised in the top. And, you know, Cammy's been slightly humbled. Maybe playing a little safer. <laughs> okay, Orn. <laughs> the BM with the emote. Oh, and let's see if Oration on this Aatrox. Okay, they just kind of walk away. Are they able to catch? The MF ult catches both Wee Little Otter and Spurs. Wow. And 
Yep. There is Virgin Ninja. Can there not a get away? Yes. But that is going to be first drag to Cornell. A little, maybe got a little cocky on the side of Trinity. You know, you're ahead, you're not that ahead. And, you know, they're brought down to earth a little. So we now see MF and Cassiopeia have these shutdowns. Which body is going to go ahead and steal the last of these chickens? Oh, that's a really good Rakan knockup. They decide to leave it because Trundle runs really fast and it's not worth it. Okay, we do still have all towers up, all five plates. They've been too f busy fighting to really do much objective wise. But yeah, that first dragon is on Cornell. Looks like Sejuani here is going to get the top river scuttle you know so now this rift would be kind of a hard and she's ganking in oh that's gonna be virgin and just flash on the swain there you go unfortunate both junglers kind of hovering nearby hoping maybe they can do this rift perhaps so we are gonna see turtle going for the rift here but, you know, Sejuani knows, Cassie knows, and we Little Otter is going to be forced to get off at the Rift. And, oh, even forced to use Flash just to get away. Oh, Sejuani misses the ult on Virgin Ninja. That is, that's always nice when they miss the ult. But looks like Sejuani is going to be going for this Rift, and we aren't sure if, uh... Trundle is going to be able to come back, maybe do a little damage. Okay, Cassie walked up. Uh, Swain is not quite there yet. That does force Aatrox's flash. Oh, and Orn's taking it but not quite. All right, so it looks like Cassie was able to pick up the Eye of the Herald. So that's a rift for Cornell and for Red Team. Bot side, looks like they got a few plates and oh, walked away. The rift is gonna be put down mid. We'll have to see they will be able to stop this. Looks like they're going for the Cassie. Cassie lands ult on both of them, but they should be able to secure this kill here. Yep, and there's the Orn TP and Sejuani. And looks like they're going to catch Kami here. So this is looking a little unfortunate. <laughs> Team kills. Very funny if you're me. Anyways, it is 6 to 9 with now the team of Cornell has about a 2k gold lead happening. So yeah, perhaps Trinity here, we got a little cocky, huh? We need to tone it back, but we'll see setting up for this drag in about a minute and a half. Sejuani looks like she's ganking up top on the Aatrox and they are gonna catch him perhaps and they do secure that kill on the Aatrox Khan does use his Shirelius trying to catch looks like Cornell's bot lane does have items ahead of our precious bot lane so we will see they may have to play a little bit more careful. Cassie is walking down here, maybe to come try and tower dive or get some get some money. Trundle's here. The MF ult comes out, but and they're not an ult. They flash away. Dragon is coming up, and now there are all five bot Aatrox still top. Wayne's still mid, so that is going to be a 3v5 
right here coming in okay we see the TP come out from Aatrox Cass bolts it Aatrox is forced to walk back Swain comes down gets the sedge but they're kind of trying to neutralize see what they can do but again we do have to note this vision here could be dangerous and okay looks like they're gonna go ahead maybe concede the dragon say hey you guys can have it I don't think it's worth it oh okay so they do use the uh, recon ult use that orn ult okay but at least our Kaisa our Aatrox do manage to get away So that's going to be the first turret going to Cornell, taking that bot turret. I'm surprised it happened this late, 17 minutes in. We just got our first turret. And we do have two dragons on Cornell. So it's looking, looking a little, a little scary if you're Trinity here, you know. Is the Swain going to do enough damage? Can the Kaisa keep up with the MF? And really, can the Trundle keep up with the Sejuani here? I, I didn't even know they had the Sejuani pick in their pocket. Okay, a team fight might be culminating here in the mid lane. Swain lands his hook, but no damage is apparently done, as we can see. Okay, force the Renata flash and the ult. That might have been an accident or facing the wrong way. So unfortunate. Poor Soso. Sejuani's looking for it on the Renata, but is unable to get what she wants. Rakod uses um, his thingy, Shirelia's. Uh, doesn't get the pick, but you know, scares him off, runs at him fast enough. Oh, Cammy, is Cammy gonna be able to back before time is up? Oh, not quite. So, this might be a death for our Swain, or not, you know. The little ult, Tom, back off me. Maybe trying to get executed. We'll see. Yep, that's gonna be four on Virgin Ninja. Virgin Ninja now dead. But we did get the objective bounty with this mid turret, so, you know, an eye for an eye, kind of. A Virgin Ninja for a tower. Okay, so it does look like Baron is gonna be spawning in about 30 seconds here. So we can see how Cornell College is prepping for this pretty aggressively with that line of vision once again straight throughout I'm gonna clear that ward no no funny business no funny business so it looks like they aren't even necessarily gonna start dragon they were just kind of you know teasing at it seeing if they could catch anyone doing something suspicious And yeah, just wow, the one, two, three, four, that is four control wards. Uh, Cornell certainly just not around with those pinks. Pushing in the mid wave. Okay, looks like Dragon's gonna be up in about a minute. So we will see some rotations coming down towards the bot side. Just trying to set up for this dragon. See what they can do. Oh, 
okay, we see a toxic little stack in the bush here. Maybe seeing if they can make Aatrox. Nope, not quite. Couldn't bait him in. Oh, but Sejuani goes in and we see the MF ult. Swing ult. Oh, and their con ult going in. They pick their con. This is a good team fight for Trinity. They're able to get three. And perhaps the Cassie. Okay. We see Spurs going in huge on this. Able to get the Cassiopeia. The Orn backs, but it looks like Trinity is going to be able to get this dragon here. Okay. Yeah, they got all their shutdowns. Maybe they'll be able to come back a little bit. Very good. I don't see anything too weird itemization wise that we need to, you know, be concerned about. We are of course seeing some anti heal coming out on the side of Cornell just for that Aatrox Swain combination, you know. Or not a glass, but compared to Aatrox, what is she, what is her healing anyway? All right, Baron is up. Red is maybe baiting at Cornell, just seeing what they can get. Soso has to flash away, but he, uh, Rakan ults, and she's able to get away. They might be able to catch. Nope, said one. He's too fast. So we just see this playing around here. Don't think anyone's gonna necessarily go for Baron, but you know, the thought's fun. Cassie is pushing in this bot lane, maybe seeing if she can get the bot turret while they're away. And here comes Swain trying to answer that Cassie in the bot lane. It looks like Cass is just gonna, you know, walk away. I did my chip. All right, so Trinity has done an okay job clearing. There's still some stray wards, but you know, the Baron vision is maintained. And it looks like Cornell might be going to set up for the Baron or at least bait it, something cheeky. This is definitely seen by Trinity. Looks like they're just gonna defend in the mid lane. Okay, we see Trinity rotating kind of towards this Baron, towards this mid. Just, you know, stalling. We don't want to fight unless it's going to be good for us, of course. But, yeah, we've kind of tightened up this gap. The teams are head and head with Trinity just about 3k ahead. Um, so, we're just kind of standing at this little standoff over by the Baron, you know, playing around, fooling around. And Cassie pushes in that bot, Aatrox is magically there. And yeah, so I am interested, it did seem like the Swain was going pretty well in that mid lane at first, but as Cassie got closer and closer and then eventually got that six. Okay, Cassie's a little bit alone, gonna back off a bit.
Okay, Dragon's gonna be up in about 40 seconds here. We do see Tiu kind of herding up, getting a little vision in their jungle, seeing what we can do. Oh, but it looks like Cornell might try to go for the Baron as they're on the Dragon. But, you know, Trinity is not necessarily fooled by this. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely a little suspicious, you know. Enemies missing. What's going on? Do get that far sight off. No, they're not on Baron. So now you know they're baiting it for sure. But oh, now this is just this is just cruel. They go ahead, Cassie ult. Trundle gets away, of course. It's Trundle. Okay, and Cornell's coming back up towards this Baron. And yeah, looks like they're starting it. But Trinity does know, and they're on their way. Coming for it. And Cornell's forced off of Baron, but you know, there's blood in the water. Cornell wants to fight. You can you can see it in their eyes, the little evil gleam. That's kind of taking the side path. Okay, and so now Trinity's heading back to Dragon. Are they actually going to start Baron again? Okay, huge grab. Oh, and that is the Orn ult into MF ult. Swain ult, he might be able to catch them. Oh, but he's just a little too slow. Okay, and Virgin Ninja does manage the Orn. Uh, Trundle on the Cassie is able to get the Cassiopeia, and so that is three picks on this on uh, on Cornell with only one death from Trinity. So it looks like now they're gonna do both Baron and Dragon because why would I settle for one when I could have both? Okay, Sejuani does see this and you know heading over seeing if she might be able to steal this come in here oh <laughs> an aggressive kaisa flash over the wall for the sejuani you know hunting them down oh it looks like they're tping onto baron will they be able to secure the baron oh and cornell does take the baron that is unfortunate for Trinity. And with three dead, tables turn a little bit. We do see a slight gold lead for Cornell, and they're just, you know, rolling up the mid lane with their Baron minions. They're probably gonna get some towers now. And the dragon, also gonna go to red team. So. I don't know, maybe Trinity got a little greedy, trying to go for both, maybe the Aatrox need to be there. But that was, that was unfortunate. And if you're Trinity, you gotta be a little bit demoralized right now. If you're Cornell, you're probably a little shaky handed and excited. Okay, we have four bot side here. Five, actually. Oh, they're able to catch Renata out. And now they might be able to tower dive. Virgin Ninja here gets the Cassie ult. Oh, MF or the whole bouquet. Wee Little Otter is able to grab the Sejuani, but that is three down for Trinity. It's definitely going to be brutal. We'll see if their uh, Cornell decides to end, or we'll see what they can do. Oh wow, that MF damage, but Kaisa wins it barely and is, but she is shut down. They're going in, the Renata ult, one little Ornado. <laughs> Jeez. But 
yeah, that's... They cracked into the base. At least the Nexus is okay for now. But that is just very unfortunate. We can just see this deep, deep vision now that um, Cornell now has onto Trinity. Trinity does have the objective bounty, so you know. You can always come back. It's always winnable until it's lost. But we will just have to see if they're able to, you know, maybe split push, get one of these towers. What can we do? Drake isn't for a while. Three minutes. Baron, same, about three and a half minutes. So we'll just have to see what Trinity can do here. If it is going to be able to, if they are going to be able to come back here. Okay, looks like Cornell's kind of gathering, gathering storm over here. Just, just the constant team fight play. They, they just want to fight. Just let me fight. Let me dance. All I want to do is dance. We learned stitch reference for, for the cultured minds of America. Good night, New York. Okay, so Virgin Ninja in a slightly precarious position, gonna back off. You know, Rakan was thirsty for it. Um, yeah, wow, we just do see this strong, intense vision, wall, block, great wall of China of vision coming from, a lot of that is divine with the vision score of 90, you know, uh, so-so here, only with 70, can you keep up with just... You know, the monster that is this Rakan vision. Orn goes ahead and ult, goes on the Renata. Is able to survive, uses their redemption, just maybe it's a backup procedure. Looks like the Aatrox is gonna go in, see if we can get something. MF ult kills the Renata. Oh, the Rakan ult is huge into the Cassie ult. Wow, and that's pretty devastating. Aatrox isn't able to live. Guys, apparently, you know, sacrifices we little otter just to survive or not. Maybe on that one HP. Oh, whoa! Tries to go for the the play, but it's looking like it's gonna be a loss for Trinity here on this third game. So that is gonna be one win for Trinity and two wins for Cornell. And once again, this is a best of five. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to leave you a lot to go ahead look at these stats. Wow, just the Cassie damage. MF, you know, it was close. Aatrox almost won it back, but that was just an unfortunate the swing where they tried to go for both Baron and Dragon, and the Cornell said, nope. Took the Baron, took the Dragon turn the game around when it was so neck and neck so i will be right back you know gonna take a bathroom break feel free to oogle the builds and the stats in the meantime
Alright, I am back. We're coming into our fourth game here. Kites the Flash Baron fight lost the game. Possibly, yeah, that flash over the wall just getting a little cocky, getting a little aggressive. But we will have to see if we see any changes in the bands this game what they will be, what will come out. I think also just in the draft, what I found really interesting was, you know, the Sejuani snatch was certainly a fun move by the, um, by the team of Cornell the player cutie, I think is how you say it. All right. We're getting this set up right now. We just got a little excited. It's okay. Still winnable. Woo! Go. Go, Trinity. I guess I have to think of a better chant. Alright, let me pull up this draft for you folks. Do 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 do. Alright, and once again. Please, like, go eat or something. I have not eaten, and I will be eating after Trinity wins, because we are going to win for sure. Definitely. I believe. Alright, looks like the other team might be taking a little bit of a, a bathroom break as well, so we're going to be waiting on that. Okay, and, but they're going to start the draft. Okay, perfect. So we see the Twitch ban again. Okay, wow, they're really, really afraid of that Twitch. <laughs> no, beware the rat. See the Caitlyn. Ban as per usual, probably gonna be followed by Seraphine. Okay, Trinity bans the Jinx. There's the Seraphine. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. Okay, they banned the Anivia. Yeah, that was uh the Anivia was really impactful with the R. Okay. <laughs> Ban the Victor in exchange, that's fair, you know. The mid laners can't can't carry every game. Now, gotta give us a chance. Oh! We have the Maokai. Alright. So, we're gonna get to see Wee Little Otter on the Maokai jungle. That will certainly be fun. You know. If you can't tell, I'm excited. You know. I think, obviously, but we'll see here. So, how will Cornell respond? With the Orn. Okay, Orn pick. For Cornell, pretty good. Standard, to say the least. And the MF once again. Okay, yeah, we did see pretty big damage from the MF last game. I'm interested to see how Trinity will decide to react. And maybe we'll see them stealing certain characters or what okay they just stay with the kaisa here and we do have to wonder is there going to be another recon again or what are we going to see from the side of cornell that seemed pretty strong with the charm and cassiopeia ult combo with mf was very powerful okay trinity picks the gay plank
Okay, Cornell does grab the Recon again. All right, so we see the Silas Janna ban from Cornell and Cassiopeia. Makes sense, that tracks. And the Sejuani ban from Trinity. So we'll see what Cornell decides to pick with the Cassiopeia gone. Okay, they steal they steal the trundle. A lot of a lot of stepping on each other's toes this game. But um Interesting pick the trundle when we have the Maokai. We'll see how that plays out. Okay, we go for the Renata once again. I was kind of disappointed I didn't see any super huge plays by the Renata just this last one, but we will have to see what happens with that this game. Okay, and we get the Syndra mid flashback to our, our first one, <laughs> our very first game. Okay, and how will Cornell respond in the mid lane? Mel Zahar. Okay, we haven't seen this one just yet, so this will be interesting. I think Kenzie is going to be joining me for this game, so if you're seeing my <laughs> voice. Yes, I am here. So <laughs> maybe maybe people hear me, maybe they don't. How are you doing, Audrey? I'm doing good. It's been, uh, you know... Three hours of league, so I know. As you mean, <laughs> looks like it's been quite a ride. <laughs> yeah, so we are currently Trinity has one win, Cornell has two, and it's best of five, so easy three two. Sounds good. That's right. I mean, we see the Malkai's pulled out this time. Yes, which... finally they've gotten their <laughs> Malkai. <laughs> That's right. And then Cornell's been just consistently picking that Orn. Do you feel like that Orn is a problem for Trinity? Uh, the Orn is definitely having a lot of presence during the team fights, especially just with that ultimate mm -hmm. uh, pressure and such. But the real combo is the Recon MF ultimate mm. combo is really, yeah. really dangerous, especially with Swishies like Kaisa, Syndra. Yeah, that, that did felt very strong like that last game. Yeah, for sure. Camera mm -hmm. switch over. Looks like they stole that trundle as well. Yeah, I mean, the Maokai had already been chosen, but, you know, it's still fun to see basically the enemy jungler saying, yeah, I can play them too. <laughs> Pick the Sejuani, that last one. Yeah. Oh, Ken they're saying Kinsey's a little loud. I can I can turn you down so you don't have to move. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Talk? Hello? Okay, wait. Talk? Hello, hello. Okay, we'll can see. Can you hear me? Let us know, <laughs> chat, if that's adequate. She's louder. Whoa, Kinsey, I see. People are feeling like I'm a little, a little too much. No, it was woo, Kinsey. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, they were excited. <laughs> Not okay. whoa. Kenzie. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> no, you're good. 
yeah, free game. Two games in a row, we win for sure. Yeah, all right, so just... I still feel like the team fight of Cornell is gonna be better though. Just the the Rakan MF is so strong for team fights. Think what I you know, we'll we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> they win. They win. I won't be denied. What, what do you think? How do you think it'll play out based on their team comps? <laughs> well, I can't currently see it because I'm not in the champ select. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so you might need to see. stream on Discord for me. Yeah. We'll see Thank if you. my, my computer <laughs> If your computer can, can handle, handle it. it. Yeah. I know, it'll be really interesting to see. I mean, I know Oriation Gangplank is his pretty standard, mm -hmm. so I think they definitely wanted him on a strong pick because this is obviously kind of a big game for them. They really need this win right now. I mean, I feel like Spurs 21's done pretty well on the Kai'Sa. I mean, yeah, they were really sure. close to winning that last game. It just it was that kind of like bad Baron fight that just went totally wrong that kind of got them there. So... Right. I, I do think, yeah, the team fight on Cornell will be definitely very scary. Uh, but I, I do feel like Trinity has picked like comfortable and strong picks for themselves. So we'll just have to see how it plays out, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And now we have our little spectator delay party for three minutes. <laughs> yeah, it feels like their mid laner is kind of played a wide variety of champions every yeah, time for sure i don't think i don't think they've played the same thing twice mm -hmm. but whether that's us banning them out who knows <laughs> yeah and their top laner has been that consistent orn was he what was he at the first game i feel like he was orn and then something else orn, orn more mm. oh what was it hmm. Because it was, Oriation played Fiora, and then Aatrox, Aatrox. Mm. So it would have been the second game. Oh my gosh, my brain. <laughs> trying to think what it was. I know, it's been it's been a while. You've was been up just, here for a while. Was it just Ord? I think, I don't, I didn't see enough of the first game no, to be able I to say like whether it was, it was a Ord. different one. Because I thought it was a different champion. Well, anyways, uh, <laughs> we saw the Trundle steal, so maybe they thought that was a scary pick on Trinity. Um, definitely a threatening pick. It'll be interesting. Cuddy has played a variety of champions, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm surprised he's kind of, like, gone away from the Hecarim, but I guess they kind of crushed them that second game when he was on that Hecarim, so he's realizing that's not the win con here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I am excited. I, I mean, we can definitely see some synergy with Gangplank and Maokai ults. Because uh, if he roots them, it's like that gives a perfect opportunity for Gangplank. Uh, Syndra's got a lot of stun. They do have a lot of, like, stun potential and uh, CC potential on Trinity University. It does look like they are going to have the Gangplank and the Syndra and the Kai'Sa carry here. I think the Maokai will definitely be very utility champions, so I think we're hoping that no one gets behind in lane, or at least two behind. Uh, and yeah, I would say if if anybody on Cornell gets fed, that's definitely going to be pretty scary like it was that last game. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think they're going to have to watch out for that MF for sure. Um, mm -hmm. The Malzahar Syndra matchup Hmm. I'm thinking on it. I just, I have faith in Kami. I have faith in Virgin Ninja. 
I think I think he wants that. I do too. I don't I didn't see the first game in the trades. I thought he was doing pretty good at the beginning, but what what ended up happening there cuz it looked like he got he got killed in lane a number of times. Was it he just getting solo killed to the Anivia or was it like well, it was just because lot of ganks. so weak to ganks because of the lack of movement. I think a lot of it was the the Hecarim coming in and just, mm. you no, know, everyone interrupting. Interrupting is fun. Yeah. I really like this Fright Night Renata Glassic skin. Oh, me I too. I don't know, man. I've been seeing it on the map, and I'm like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it reminds Ooh. me of, um, what's it? Like Tim Burton, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So it's like all outlined. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was faster than usual. Okay. And now, now we wait. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't think we're gonna see an invade, but you know, who knows with these these freaks? Yeah. <laughs> and the races are off. This is our this is our big game. Spooky theme. I know. I noticed that too. It did seem like they had the ghost gangplank. It's like they're going a little creepy, a little themed right now. <laughs> They they certainly win the the skin co okay and then there's just the KDA Kaisa <laughs> yeah it's a little I mean Daryl Spurs twenty one's a little bit of a cheeky man he likes to he likes to be a flash flashy <laughs> right <laughs> okay at least they're having fun in chat now yeah I looks know. like no invades people will just be kind of waiting out waves. Playing, playing kind of safe. I'm sure both teams are feeling a lot of pressure about this game. It's kind of a make or break situation for them. A lot of, a lot of emotes, a lot of dancing, a lot of celebration. Yeah, Colonel Singh seeming a little bit, you know, maybe too excited. Okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Okay, I see. Alright, both starting top side. <laughs> They're both floating. <laughs> I just <laughs> noticed. Oh, they are both floating champions. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Match each other pretty well. Who do you think uh, wins in bot lane? Just comp wise. In bot lane, I think like early, even just. Re oh, Trundle's coming down already. Trundle's coming down already. Got a already. gank already. But I feel like it would be Trinity just because of the Rakan. Okay, that's both flashes from Trinity. That's not, not a happy. They're probably not happy campers right now. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That Trundle early presence. I'm almost thinking, I don't know if the Maokai is going to be able to really match just Trundle's map presence. I'll be running all over the place all game. Yeah, I know the Trundle is definitely very speedy, which is tough for the Maokai to the counter. Yeah. But yeah, I think in the bot, um, it'll be pretty even until Rakan can engage like fully. Mm -hmm. So like level three and then level six are gonna be their, their big yeah. spikes. I mean, they'll definitely be playing a lot more careful right now just because they don't have those flashes up. So they're not really able to engage. Looks like that Trundle's already maybe place an award somewhere. Grabbing the it's scuttle. like he won't go for a camp, but yeah, he'll get that scuttle. It's like we little otters coming over. He'll see that smite, and you won't be able to contest it. We will have to see. Maybe he'll be able to grab 
Upside scuttle. Mm. Gangplank's on on a journey to deep ward. Yeah. <laughs> like the fire, the fiery sword. Ooh. <laughs> it's Happy pretty Halloween. Spooky. Hope everyone has Halloween plans. Yeah, do or you have a costume? costume or Are something. you doing a costume? I do not have a costume currently. That's something I need to work on in the next week. Do you, do what you know about what you, you want to be? No. No clue. <laughs> okay, well, I'm I'm being <laughs> uh Fem Beast Boy from oh, the Titans. Let's you know, go. With, with that's the group. a good one. Yeah, oh, I, I wanted to be Raven, costume. but you know, it's fine. You know, I it know. What I want doesn't matter. It's okay. <laughs> it's for the good of good of the many. <laughs> You're the good of the group. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I think, <laughs> I think the Beast Boy will be fun, except I gotta turn myself green. Okay, some fighting in the bot lane Girl here. Mission bot lane, I mean, you see that Trundle's already invading in that top side jungle. They're feeling cocky for sure. Looks like he won't find any camps. But yeah, bot lane definitely chunked down to almost yeah, half health. So they might be. They might be winning this poke battle. Yeah. Now it's like dragon walking up is maybe. up. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna back off because it's warded, but you know. Some wards. It's the thought that counts. We'll see if Trinity decides to take more initiative with um, dragons this game. Seems like they haven't really been prioritizing those on the map. Yeah, for sure. Oh, but. I don't know if that's necessarily been leading to their downfall. So they're both playing for this first dragon. Maokai mm -hmm. is one level up. Looks like there's a first, first blood, blood down in the bot, bot lane. We kind of missed didn't that one. She stayed. <laughs> yeah. Looks like that was on Kaisa. So that makes the misfortune start to become a little bit of a threat. A little scary there. Um, also gives that trundle the ability to just kind of walk into the jungle, Do stuff start like warding. <laughs> a lot of deep wards there. It's a little scary. Yeah, I, I've noticed they're very aggressive with their warding mm -hmm. uh, on the side of Cornell. Renata came mid just for, for some fun. Yeah. Looks like mid is pretty even. We see like almost even CS there. Yep. Jungle's relatively <laughs> even, although it does feel like Trundle's had a lot more participation on the map. He looks like he's going bot right now. Oh, a possible invade. This, this is, looks like a little bit of a scary situation for Renata, but she's able to, able to stun him, yeah. Or root him. So it doesn't end up being a skirmish. Yeah, so this double floaty mid lane, they're just chilling. Mm. Yeah, top seems relatively even right now, too. I mean, I guess the hope is that um, Ariation can possibly win mm. that. Is Maokai going to be able to catch this Malzahar, perhaps? They break the shield. Possibly, it looks like they're able, able to stun, stun and route. then he's able to get it. And then he is stunning <laughs> Syndrome return, but it looks like they're able to secure that kill, although... We little uh, otter Cammy's maybe taken. wanted to give the kill to Cammy, but you know, <laughs> Cammy's preoccupied. Yeah, I know that was a that was a tough one. So <laughs> the kill goes on to Malachi. Yeah. Okay. It's like Malachi was considering maybe ganking, but you know, put off by that scuttle. Trundle's mm. hanging up up top by this gangplank. Yeah, it looks like Ari may something have something here. to worry about there. There's no ward there, so it looks like he is gonna There's gank this. Orn. We're gonna use that ult, yep. and that is just a clean kill. Although, Although Orn does have to flash. Yeah. Still, though, unfortunate little tower That's dive That's also action. the GP ult down. Yeah. It means it can't be used on other parts of the map at other right. points in time. Trun was going in for this Rift Herald. Oh. We see Kaisa have to flash. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they're getting pretty oppressed in the spot lane, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're... Like Kaisa's managing Spurs keeping up in CS, but, you know, just... Mm -hmm. 
that poke yeah. damage. Right yeah. now, it's looking Rift. like they're gonna try to milk a lead in mid right now, just because other lanes are struggling. We'll see if Wheel Otter really tries to cater towards that, whether he'll try to help some other lanes out as well. A lot of poke happening on bot lane here. This fortune's kind of annoying. Not gonna <laughs> lie. Just a little. <laughs> kind of sucks. Oh, and this this oppression. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of ward control. Looks yeah, like Malkai is bot. He'll probably come try to gank, although he'll spot that ward there. Mm, they'll back so off. they'll back off. Yep. Trundles maybe come in mid. Mm -hmm. Syndra knows. Thankfully, or yeah, but does she? Although does does she? Ninja get suppressed. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be hard, and that's the Takes flash. Takes Syndra flash, but you know, mm -hmm. Syndra lives. Yeah. And here comes our our parade coming up mid. Like bot's gonna come up, see if they can make any impact there. But bot doesn't quite have enough prio to go for the dragon, so they're forced mm -hmm. off of it. Yeah. Creation on the gangplank fighting this Orn. Pretty pretty even trade there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Orn's actually up ahead in CS right now. I mean he did that get that kill in the top lane, which makes sense. Maokai but... head spot, but they just have they're so strong with this vision mm -hmm. that Maokai has just come to gank like three times and been denied it. Yeah. It looks like Trinity will start to kind of gain prio over dragons right now. They're going to take this first dragon. We'll see. It looks like the Trundle's over here. He might kind of try to come and contest that. It looks like this could possibly be a fight. Looks like Trinity University doesn't really want that fight. So they're going to turn off of it and just back off. <laughs> Okay, both junglers kind of hovering over here. No, are they trying to bait right now? It feels a little bit like that. And that's oh, wow. an MF ult. There's a lot of different. It looks like they're gonna take advantage. Lot. We see one kill. Can they one secure kill another? And MF flash. No, but that was a pretty good play by Trinity University. They were patient. I mean, that was a little Although scary there with that does MF get ult. A little plating and yeah. progress on the mid tower, but you know. Yeah, we'll get the plating. You gotta do what you gotta do. Trinity will trade it for a dragon. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, you know, the gold... Gold's pretty close, only about a... 100... 200 gold difference, so... Maybe it's looking a little more hopeful over here for <laughs> Trinity. You know, I no, mean, gold's they have definitely to win pretty this even. game. Yeah. They're trying all they can. Hmm. Yeah, the win con really seems to be focused on this syndrome. It's good they got the Kaisa an assist there. Um, and obviously the Maokai kind of got that first kill, which could be unfortunate. Oh, Audrey. You oh. see the skirmish happening in the mid lane there. The bot? Oh, there there was stuff in the mid lane, but it's all right. Oh, it's, oh sorry. It's over now. No, you're good. <laughs> I was I was adjusting my, my <laughs> cord. All right, Trundles. Oh, you're all good. Trundles doing a little roundabout. Yeah, he's hovering. It looks like Trinity needs to be kind of careful here. Uh, Malkai's also hovering They're over, but oh, he's definitely not as in. fast. Spurs 21 able to, a, to get this. Love so so. Looks oh, like Malkai will flash Ooh. for it. Are they able to get that trundle? He's gonna get the ult out. Ult comes out. I think they'll be able to get the trundle, although. Yeah, and, and that's ult. the MF ult. It's pretty good by Trinity, but yeah, this Malzahar, a good trade for them. You know, get on his platings in whenever Syndra comes down. Yeah. See if they can trap he him a here. Head CS. They might be able to catch it. He will though. probably try to back up, but yeah, they're just not as fast. He's yeah. definitely trying. 
yeah, that'll definitely be kind of a threat in the fights because that Malzahar has just gotten a lot of gold mm -hmm. off of these bot ganks. Uh, Journey's had to pour a lot into getting the bot some oh, opportunities. The Gangplank ult. Yeah, it looks like Defensive he will be alive. Markers running up here. Looks and like the they will maybe be able to secure this. And yes, Oriation is able to get a kill off on that Orn. Right. That is good for him too. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to. Running mid. Yeah. But Virgin Ninja is able to, I mean, spot the icy floor. So he doesn't slip this time. <laughs> this time. This time. Nah, he'll never slip. Alright, looks like Rift is spawning in about 10. Yeah, I see Long some support roams. Uh, Schwarting, getting vision. Yeah. A little bit of cooling down. Waiting a little bit before the next fight. Uh, looks like this dragon coming up kind of soon. Yeah, in like two minutes. Mm, okay, so that's not very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, kinda. You're, yeah. No. Depends on your definition of soon. <laughs> Engaging top lane gameplay that you've all been wanting. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, we see Trunmo in this river. She's grabbing the scuttle, kind of fights a Bruin down by the spot side. Yeah. Trying to get some vision here. Oh, and that MF just chunked Renata. Yeah. So much damage. It's a lot of damage. That. I mean, the MF was pretty scary in that last game, and the MF is pretty scary in this game. I think that'll be one of the biggest threats to Trinity. In addition to, I mean, we even see that burn damage for the Malzahar. Mm -hmm. Those will be two pretty scary champions to have to deal with. Again, both junglers are kind of hovering down by this bot side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot has been focused uh, bot side, it feels like, this game. The question is, what is Malzahar doing over here? Yeah, we see some Malzahar kind of <laughs> roaming a little bit, see if he can snag anything. And the drag is going to spawn in like 20 seconds though, so... Hmm. Are gonna have to see what they do here. Yeah. Will Trinity decide to go for it? It kind of looks like it, although they're, it looks like they're gonna get this pick off on Love So So. Nothing can be done here. But it looks like Malphite's, I mean, Malkai is just gonna come and see if he can get a response kill. Are they able to get anything here? There's the looks Orn like TP. they will not. Yeah, that is the Orn TP. It's like, Cornell will go right for that dragon. Trinity can't really counter. Now with all five there? Yeah. But Orchid is able to get that first turret as a result of the focus bot lane. That's really good for Trinity, gaining what they can on the other side of the map, while they lose a little bit on the bot side. Mm. Alright, they're still pretty even in gold, maybe a 1... Mm -hmm. about a 1.5k difference. But they're doing well, equal dragons... Yeah, it's really just everyone's playing on their best behavior, trying yeah. to, uh win this game mm -hmm. to either close it out or keep it going i know we'll definitely be able to tell better when we kind of see this first major fight which not really sure what objective that will be around at this point but definitely think that will be the telltale sign of how how strong some of these champions are sure Yeah, I mean, that misfortune with the two kills, probably one of the strongest on the team at this point. Yeah, even, for sure. Yeah, even Love Soso seems to be giving her a little bit of, a little bit of birth. <laughs> oh, 
poke in the bot lane. Just see everybody kind of going about their business. It looks like Maokai's going bot. It's like, he's not really doing much down there though. Oh, could he be coming? Looks like he'll clear some vision. Looks like they'll go for a play top lane. They're gonna go for that rift. Trinity can't really counter it at this moment. It looks like Orn will see if he can get the GP. That is a lot of damage coming out from the GP. Looks like he will almost kill that Orn there. Mm. Malzahar will get Oriation, but will Kami be able to get Malzahar? Looks like that was maybe not the play there. Mm. And he will be taken out by that Malzahar burn. And they're gonna go ahead and use that rift and push in. Yeah, top on this lane top line. tower. <laughs> Looks like that rift may be able to get off two charges. It's hard. That play looked really good for Trinity because that Orn was so low. Oh, looks like they stopped wow. that that ultimate. And are they able to get? They are able to shut down that misfortune, and hopefully they'll be able to take this tower in response. But yeah, that second charge, no, they're not able to take that tower. That second Shelly charge comes up. <laughs> and takes that tier two top tower pretty low there. Yeah. They are able yeah. to get the bot tower. They are able to get the bot tower. <laughs> that is a little brutal. The yeah. Top lane. Yeah. But that shutdown on MF is really good, especially having that kill on that Kaisa. Because uh, we know that that's something that's important. GP definitely will. Seems like it'll be a farming game <laughs> for a lot of it. GP will just get as much gold as he can, and he might need to just sit side lane while using ults. Uh, looks like he's going to roam down. This could be. Not the best. He's spotted. Dragon is coming up in about a minute or so here. Mm -hmm. Both teams do have one dragon, so it's not too consequential, but you know, it's always better. Two's better than one in mm -hmm. most situations. Yeah, it looks like Trinity really does want this dragon. Although, they're kind of walking out of there. Malkai's kind of isolated here, but yeah, Trinity's done a good job getting vision on Dragon, but it's like right they're trying to see points. if they can get a pick here just before this fight, or I guess before they do the Dragon. Looks like they're not really able to secure anything. Cornell sees this and looks like they're just gonna go uh, mid. They can. Yeah, Malzahar cleared that turret. Bot lane, that gives him a lot more gold. It looks like he might be able to even crack into that tier 3. Uh, we see the GP. Oh! Now Cornell's going for that Baron. What will Trinity do? It looks like you're going to definitely need to run over there. They've definitely spotted that they're doing it. Gonna get off of the Baron actually. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's good for Trinity. Maybe they're able to take this uh, mid tower. Oh, but wow, it's just so pushed in in that top. Lane. I know. It's like, who do we think really won that trade? I feel like, I guess it feels like Trinity is winning the trade. I mean, they are getting a lot of jungle camps and stuff. It just, it feels like such a close game that I can't really... Yeah, no, the gold is literally like less than say, two difference. <laughs> say, like, what, who is doing better or worse, or it what happened. It's interesting to see just how safe they're playing this game. Only six mm -hmm. to five kills, so like 11 kills total, 25 minutes in almost. So... Yeah. This is interesting to see how they play. Yeah, Once both teams again. really feel this pressure. For sure. just that deep vision mm -hmm. all around by um, Cornell.
Cornell trying to do a good job on Yeah. That? Well, at least we have to look forward to. Unless something big breaks out, we have this next dragon to look forward to. Cornell will definitely probably contest it just because it's now soul point for Trinity. And that can be pretty scary. For Trinity sure. will probably look for any picks they can as well. Cornell will look for any picks they can during this time. So everybody's probably going to play pretty safe as we've seen during this game. Everybody's just kind of sticking to their sticking to their side lanes, looks like. Looks like Maokai might crash with this trundle. Just a little bit of trading. You know. Seeding spooky saplings. <laughs> spooky team and clown Kaisa. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, maybe part of the tactic of Trinity University was to scare Cornell. I mean, I know yeah, I'm a little, you know, I'm a little unhinged, so. It's the intimidation of tactic, that's right. Interesting. Orange just kind of camping there. Seeing if he can snag anyone <laughs> with his with his gnarled roots. Is Orn a tree? That's the real question. This is Elderwood skin. So I mm -hmm. don't I think he's normally like some kind of fuzzy thing, right? Like, oh yeah, that's right. I guess I'm just thinking of the of elder. Maokai. Mm -hmm. That's true. Malkai's a literally a tree. Okay, then I I was confused. Oh, and isn't someone else a tree? Looks like they will try to go on Wee Little Otter here. Be a little scary, but they see that the Renata's here, and that's the old GP ulti. Looks like both will get out, but that is GP ulti down, which presents less of a threat to Cornell. We've seen some activity in this mid lane. But doesn't really develop into anything. <laughs> hey, was that? I don't think that was a good of the scuttle. <laughs> no. It would have like, been oh my cool God, though. Scuttle steal? Uh, would have been the coolest part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just looking at... Stuff. We see there's a bounty on Wee Little Otter, a bounty on Kaisa right now, and a bounty on that Malzahar. Oh, okay, we're seeing some skirmishing right now. That's the MF ulti, and that's the Maokai ulti. Looks like no kills are able to be secured, but it you know, seems like both junglers are pretty young. I mean, young. Oh my god. Low? Low. That's what I mean to say. Young little jungler. <laughs> that's right. Kaisa's not really doing as much damage as it seems like uh, Spurs 21 needs to do in this fight. Not really touching that Orn yeah, at all. I feel like he's just having to play so safe because of the, you know, Malzahar yeah. and Trundle that it's just hard to... Yeah. <laughs> he might have heard you. It's definitely the long-awaited dragon fight. It's like Spurs will, 21 will kind of start it up. <laughs> so let's get it going, come See on. See what they do here. Will, will there be a smite fight? Fight, fight. Looks like they're able to get it. Howell Trinity University, but they're able to get that Rakan because he just goes right in. Trinity That's the GP ulti down. again. Orn flashes. Kaisa flashes. Now we get the says, Orn. I'm hungry. Ka Kaisa wants more. She says, I'm going for Trundle instead. Trundle's flash. Oh. oh, and she uses her <laughs> ulti to get the it. Trundle. Malka's on the Orn. She'll probably Wood come back Wood. for that Orn too. Yeah, looks like that one will go to that Kaisa too. <laughs> and now that Kaisa's looking kind of scary. A 5 2 Kaisa. <laughs> I guess a 5 1 Kaisa is a little bit scarier than the, than the 2 1 Kaisa. So it looks Quite like all of those kills went on Kaisa, right? And I think even intentionally, I think they paused on the. Uh, 
the <laughs> horn and said, hey, Calls come out get horn, it. Just stalling a little bit, yeah. Alright, so drag's down for a bit, but we do have this exciting little baron for everything mm -hmm. to center around here. Yeah, Trinity University let Cornell get that dragon, but obviously that's not the biggest deal for them, and they were able to capitalize off that pretty, pretty well. Looks like they're gonna kinda try to take over this jungle a little bit. Just gain some vision, gain some control here. They're actually gonna take this scuttle crab. Big stuff, big huge, stuff. Huge, huge. Huge. True. Yeah. Little evil All saplings. Right, they're going in on that. Looks like they're gonna try to take this trundle out. That gives the MF ult. Luckily, Wee Little Otter's pretty tanky, and that almost takes out the Rakan right there. Will the Rakan be trapped by the Maokai? It looks like not. A little fun happening down bot. Yeah. GP kind of cleaning up the mess on bot lane. Right now, will they? Dang, that sucks. He's kind of kinda they, dodging and they? weaving <laughs> here, yeah. Oh, but that's oh, some serious GP burst. damage right there. GP ult and he'll, Malzahar flashes. He'll get that Malzahar. Looks like they're gonna get this Orn ulti. And... Do they take Trinity? the Baron? No, oh, they got, got the Baron! Baron. Wow, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even see. Hey, that was expected. Hey, that was expected. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. <laughs> Trinity's goaded, okay. For real. Yeah, so we see we see the, the trade on bot lane being won, and we got that Baron. Trundle's taking some camps, some revenge camps. Chicken you know. nuggets, you know. I know, it's like revenge do. food, you know, when you're when you're angry. <laughs> Wait, Maybe we can pause get some revenge ice cream. food? Pause. Do you, do you eat food when you're angry? I think I, think I was thinking more of like... <laughs> <laughs> more of like, you know, like when you're like sad about like a breakup or something and you like eat food like to make you feel better. I think that's yeah, what I was thinking of, but it okay. came out as revenge food, which isn't like a thing that yeah, I struggle like with. Yeah, like you poison with. the cupcake here. <laughs> I brought this for you. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad strategy, Poison the scuttle, scuttle crab, and then <laughs> they get sick. I don't okay, know. If, if it works. Is kinda... Yeah, we okay. see that flank right there, but it looks like he'll kind of move out. And we got some turrets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like we are evening out the waves right now. Trinity's doing kind oh. of a. Do we have a five man? Yeah, Rakan's kind of still hovering there. Where is the. Where's the GP? I'm like, I'm not seeing him right now. Oh! And that's the... Woo. There goes... Oh, Looks like Rakan will... The GP ult. Yeah, he flashed right into that. He ulted and flashed. That didn't work out too well for our boy Rakan. Although there's the My MF ult, ult. Just to clear that wave. Just to clear the wave, yeah. Trinity's really, really pushing oh. right now. Looks like MF may be able to take that, though. We see... What's that item called that heals? That's not. Wait, what? That's redemption. Yeah, redemption. Mm hmm. Okay, so we. <laughs> I thought you meant like Moonstone. I'm like, what if they no. shouldn't be building Moonstone? What's going no. on? <laughs> I know. No. Okay, drags up in about 25, so we'll kind of see Trinity rotating towards the bot side here. Trundle's still top, but he's he's a runner. He's a track star. You know, like he'll get there when he needs to be. That's true. That man that man's got legs. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's even got the jersey for it. Yeah, he's his little baseball skin or whatever. Yeah. Looks like they will not really contest this. Trinity's able to just completely shred this dragon. Just like no contest there. Uh, <laughs> looks like Trundo. I know more revenge. Food. <laughs> <laughs> Do you never try to just like eat food when you're sad? <laughs> no, I eat food when I'm sad. It's just the the phrasing just not for revenge. revenge. I guess yeah. it doesn't really make sense to do. No, I get food. I get it's the like, concept. Yeah, it's like a no, reaction. It doesn't anything. make sense. You're right. <laughs> no, I'm trying yeah, to like think what I want to eat vision. after this. I'm hungry. I know. I'm and like, you better have a quick game. The trundle. 
he's trying to trap Wee Little Otter. Are they going to be able to take out this? Oh, and the trundle just goes ult. down. Oh. There's that GP ult, which chunks Little most Edna. of the team down. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no Baron to take here. There's no, like, major objectives, but they maybe Trinity can <laughs> try to push down Some lanes, these lanes. 4v5. I mean, 5v4. See if they can maybe snag a tower or two while there's the backing going on. It's like yeah. we're doing a little... Little ARAM. Yeah, that is unfortunate that they can't gain that much from it. Uh, but it was a good fight. Yeah, and you know, kinda, the mental damage. Kind of backfired. That's right. Mental damage. No, it's it's a, it's real. It's a thing. No, no, no. I no, I know it is. Like, <laughs> I, I know. You're right. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> It's like they're gonna steal some some jungle camps. They want to deprive nice. Trundle of his revenge food. No soup for you. No soup for you. Yeah. <laughs> I just now I'm just looking at his legs every time I see him. <laughs> Don't look at his legs. He's Why? a troll. Do you think he's insecure? He's a troll. Oh yeah, definitely, most definitely, he's insecure. Oh no, now you're just gonna go, you're just gonna look at Trundle this whole time. I oh mean, my god. Or you know, the, the bunny. She doesn't even have legs. Uh, yeah, she a... does? I mean, yes, but like, uh, they're not like Trundle's legs, okay? I mean, no one, <laughs> no one's legs are like Trundle's. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, there's nothing <laughs> so eventful like, going on anyway. Looks like, okay. like we're gonna look on. <laughs> yeah, the Baron comes up in about 40 seconds. Looks like Trinity University kind of wants it. <laughs> uh, since the dragon's kind of far, they want the Baron. They want Trundle's legs. I mean, I know they don't get greedy. They're they're a little greedy right now, <laughs> but they also should be as they should. Yeah, this is, that is the way that they should play the game. <laughs> greedy within reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that Baron comes up in six seconds. And Rakan has just backed. Rakan did just so back, and we'll see if Trinity does go for it, or if they just kind of keep pushed in, wait for that dragon. It's like, again, they're just going to try to bully out the other team, clear as much vision as they can. They're definitely playing this game a little bit more safe. Than they have before. And they are in a good position. They are about looks like 7k gold up. A little bit less than that, I would say. It's about 6k gold lead, mm -hmm. which is very good for them. They are on soul point right now, so they really want to get this dragon. And Cornell really doesn't want them to get this <laughs> dragon. But I also think that they'll probably force a trade here, since we do see the Baron up. I think they'll kind of force Cornell to choose. And we'll Here's see what they- Oh! Gangplank ult combo. Yeah, that's- that Gangplank is gone. Which is not good for him. Horn ult's a little of veil. Yeah. Can Looks like Trinity's kind of being pushed Syndra, off. Though. Yeah, they'll be able to shut down that Syndra. Will, will the Maokai and the Kaisa be able to get anything? Yes, but- at what cost? <laughs> oh my god, the Kaisa just oh, wow. flew right in there. We see that triple kill go through to the and Kaisa. The dragon's in 30, so the uh, Trundle will not be spawned by then. Will... So hopefully it looks like, yeah, they'll try to, try to go and get this dragon if they can. Wow, that Kaisa is uh, pretty scary. We got an 8 and 1 Kaisa. A lot of damage oh. outputting. And that's a four Ida. Yeah. One Kaisa. That was definitely a pretty split fight and looked pretty scary for Trinity uh, for a yeah. little bit there, I will say. Uh, if it wasn't for the Trundle and Kaisa there. Will they be able to get this though? It's looking a little scary. We got a TP in, but will that Redemption be enough? Oh my helped. god. Wow. Okay, so they Trinity's didn't even need help the there. Dragon. And it looks like they're also able to secure. Orn for dessert. Okay. Arn, 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 and Malzahar. Yeah. Malzahar. Well, I thought didn't they kill? Oh no, wait, who? Oh, they, they killed Rakan. Okay, it wasn't yeah. Malzahar. Sorry. 
So is Rakan. YB. Looks like they're gonna go right for that Baron. <laughs> they kind of do. Oh my god, that's going down really fast. Yeah, Cornell's not even able to to do anything. We see objective bounties are soon gonna spawn for Cornell. They are that far behind at this current moment. I think Trinity University is gonna just push this lead if they can. I mean, I'm not gonna say they're gonna end it here, but if they get a good fight, yeah, for sure. And I think they it'd could. be better to end it while you can before the tides <laughs> can possibly turn. Yeah. No, but yeah, probably it is looking... gonna even up waves if they can. Try to sink waves. Try to see if they mm -hmm. can have two things crashing. Looks like Sendra will help out GP up there. And they'll hopefully be able to take this tier 2 top tower down as the Malphite, I mean, yeah, I mean Malkai, oh my god, I keep messing that up, kind of fights. And that's the Malkai ult. And there's the Renata ult. Wow, a lot of ults just went down. Another <laughs> GP ult. <laughs> okay, that, that was four. Four. I can count. Those four ults? Let's go. I think so. Looks like they're gonna be able to take this top tower, top base tower, Grab and will the they be top, able to get in him? Yeah, looks like Renata's gonna. Oh! And, and that was just complete down. decimation there. It's just that Kaisa kind of looking like a little bit of an ADC diff, possibly, you know, looking Possibly look there. Looking, we'll see the damage. Looks like this might be an end here. Uh, there- oh my god, there's yeah, another there's one. That was some well. serious burst damage as well. So, so Cornell are really damage. trying to fight. They're trying to get there. And the but Ace Trinity University is able to do that ace. And we are now 2-2. Two to two. We are at Ace. game 5. For those of you who have stuck through, wow. You <laughs> are troopers. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> I know Trinity appreciates the fans, the League of Legends fans. All right, and let's look at these numbers. Wow, the Kaisa damage at 38k with the closest follower oh, wow. being almost 10,000 damage behind. <laughs> wow. That is a wow. Yeah. That was... Very good game. They played it very careful at the beginning, I would say. I mean, we saw that from both teams. It'll be interesting to see what they pull out this time, whether they actually respect the Kai'Sa and they decide to ban it. Oh, that's what it's called. When they decide to ban it <laughs> or whether they'll ban Ariation's Gangplank. We'll see if things change this time. Yeah, because they've, they've yeah. been banning about every game, the, the Caitlyn Seraphine. Mm-hmm. So we'll just see. Maybe, maybe the Caitlyn maybe they is let that less up. scary than the than the Kaisa, you know. Mhm. Mm I know it was interesting. It did feel like, huh? Okay, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's interesting though. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh. My brain. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so much league thinking. Well, yeah, but I also played like an hour or two of like Overwatch competitive playing <laughs> tanks. And so, like, my brain is just tired of macro. Oh my gosh. Like, let me just be a stupid little minion. <laughs> Please. I just want to be a pawn. I know, that's why I only play Arams. <laughs> There's no thought involved. Very little macro. Very little yes. macro. Almost no macro. Other people would argue against me, probably, though. I'm sure there- I guess there's, like, ult tracking. And, like, I don't know, something. Whew. Oh my god, am I in? Shoot, no, I said spectate. Okay, sorry. Oh, so I'll stop streaming. Nice. <clears throat> well, streaming on Discord. Yep. Yeah. 
Alright, guys. Best game for last. That's you know. right. Oh God, I'm you know it's gonna be absolutely wild. It's kind of a lot of tension. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little a little scared. Yeah. Waiting on love so so. Get in there. <laughs> we will. I guess I'm really excited to see if they do decide to go ahead and ban that Kaisa after that performance mm -hmm. from Spurs. Mm. Looks like we are all in, and hopefully we will start up draft soon. I am very just curious to see the draft differences this time. And I mean, it's funny that they keep banning that Caitlyn uh, Seraphine. I know that Trinity University used the Seraphine. Was it Seraphine ADC? And then it wasn't Seraphine Sona though. I don't think so. The the bands. Huh? Yeah, like I'm trying to think what the last game because oh they didn't banned Trinity Jana. Play a game. Oh, they banned Jana. Last game they banned Caitlyn, Seraphine, some uh Victor, something <laughs> Jana, I believe. Well, but I'm saying like they've been banning the Caitlyn Seraphine. Yeah. Cause like, hasn't Spurs Twenty One been playing the Caitlyn pretty commonly in some previous games, and then. Didn't he play Seraphine one of the games and kind of did really well? I'd I'd have to do my research. Okay, they did ban <laughs> that Maokai jungle. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're already right into draft. Okay. Yeah. We see the Twitch ban on Trinity side. I don't know who the I assume the ADC is a Twitch. They've Twitch banned main. Twitch every game, so they must be <laughs> must be afraid of the rat. I feel like it's a good pick. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna ban that Jinx too. And then, yeah, Cornell just staying steady with that Caitlyn okay. Therapine. Yeah, they didn't like that mouth, Maokai. We see Virgin Ninja on the victor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the Cornell's fans Cornell's going to take that Sejuani. Oh, yeah, that was the Little game Otters lost. game. Was it really? Oh, yeah, with the Sejuani. They did play a pretty good Sejuani. Uh, so that's looking a little scary. We'll see how Trinity chooses to counter. I do think the victor is to Trinity's advantage because if they end up kind of needing that late game. Okay, the Ari uh, mid. I haven't uh -huh. seen this yet. So wow, their their mid laner does definitely have a pretty big range. Yeah. I know Ari isn't really meta to my knowledge at this current moment. But I mean, if she gets strong and she's also got kind of that mobility, which I'm sure will be very useful with ganks yeah we see two kind of poke champs in the mid lane it's they like Trinity's gang just gonna plank. go ahead and tank that gangplank again because Cornell left it up I know they feel like uh, Ariation's very strong on that pick very comfortable that was definitely a fun pick to watch yeah yeah for sure Hopefully we'll see some more fun barrel combos, some one shots. <laughs> Interested to see how Cornell. Oh, a Draven. Okay, this will be fun. We haven't seen this just yet. It's like Cornell's wanting to just mix it up a little bit. Yeah, see, so, you know, maybe maybe they had this in their pocket there the whole time. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna ban that Kaisa. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I guess Trinity's pretty confident in maybe an MF, or we'll see what they end up picking here. Or maybe yeah. they ban the MF. I'm I'm curious to see what they ban too. I know it'll be interesting to see if Cornell just kinda decides to ban ADC. It feels like they might just cause Verse 21. Dance the Lulu. 
Mm-hmm. That would have been a pretty strong combo, yeah. I know, I'm, like, interested. Ban the Renata, okay. Okay, they're, they're gonna ban the Renata. I think that is kind of a comfort pick for... For Soso? Mm-hmm, for Soso. Wow, so we see the Yumi and Renata ban. Has Love Soso played anything other than Renata and Yumi these games? Yeah, uh, Love Soso played the Janna and He played the Janna, Yumi, that's right. And, Yumi and that was a good game. one. Yeah. He was good on the Janna. Like they'll go with that Orn again. Top. Classic. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna bother me because I swear he played one other tank. But so I don't play... know what it was. He didn't play Darius, though. Why am I thinking Darius? Let me see. Hmm. Okay, and we get the Janna out. Yeah, it looks like they're going to pick that Janna, which did work for them very successfully. Well, you know, I guess the relief is you can keep looking at Trundle's legs this game. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, he played Darius. <laughs> Darius. Okay, so it was Darius. Looks like Trini's going to pick that Sivir. Sivir oh, okay. was strong. I don't know. I haven't really seen her played recently, to be honest. But it um, is but I know, Spurs, yeah. Sivir. So we do know That's Spurs right. a good bit of Sivir. <laughs> I know. Spurs, it's, it's a comfort pick for Spurs. So I definitely think that's... Sometimes it's better to choose comfort. Uh, and the oh my Blitz goodness. Crank. Okay, this is going to be a fun game to watch for sure. The Draven Blitzcrank. That's definitely really scary. I feel like it'll either pan out really well for Cornell or not well. But it'll just be kind of how the cards land. I definitely think that like Sejuani gank bot lane will be absolutely terrifying. Uh, and we do have two very squishy champions down on that bot lane. Uh, so it looks like they're going to be playing a lot of weak side bot. Um... And maybe Trinity's going to try to focus this, like, Gangplank Victor ahead. I don't know. What do you think, Audrey? How do you think that this will pan out? I think we have to see either the Victor get really fed or just, mm. like, a support diff bot. Because if, yeah. the, if the Blitzcrank Draven gets even just the one kill ahead, it can just kind of be a, a sad day for everyone involved. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely more of an unusual comp for Cornell. They they pick some kind of more like fun pocket picks, uh, and we will see how it pans out. Yeah, it's definitely looking a little scary, but it'll it'll hopefully be a good game. Yeah, for sure. Mm hmm. Yeah, I know I'm not a big Blitzcrank fan myself. I kind of like playing despise him. It, or... Yes, I just... Well, at first, I don't know how to play him, but I also just really bad playing into him. I think he's a good champ, though. But I don't know. It's like you don't ever see Blitzcrank played in pro play. I guess this is a little bit lower than pro play, <laughs> but... <laughs> <It's a little. laughs> but... It'll be interesting to see if we can, like, see a reason why it wouldn't be played in pro play here. Right. I'm, I'm excited to see. It kind of is reminding me of last time we casted with the Nautilus. Mm. Do you remember? So I do remember, yeah, where we said the Nautilus is kind of a less tanky champ than others. Let's we'll see the roam potential and what yeah. goes down. I know he's definitely a speedy man. He'll probably be on around the map a lot as he's kind of been in other champions as well. I mean, do we feel like he's definitely got a pretty divine's got a pretty like broad champ pool it feels like cuz he's played Lulu, Splitscrank, what else has he been playing? 
Oh, Rakan. He's played a lot of Rakan. Mm-hmm. But those are three very different champions. Yeah, for sure. Guess, a lot of range. Yeah, a lot of range. That's true. Oh, I'm you excited know for the bot lane. <laughs> You're excited. I'm terrified. <laughs> I just, I can't, me being a Janna playing into a Blitzcrank, I would be really scared. But I'm also <laughs> just a complete chicken. Nah, you just walk up and smack them in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I guess it's nice that they have those, uh, those windy things. Oh, tornadoes, that's what they're called. <laughs> Please. I know. <laughs> to kind of negate that, said, that windy blitzcrank. Thing. <laughs> windy things. That's what they're called. Oh, for sure. Now. Yeah. I'm also interested to see this Ari. Mm hmm. Gonna be beast, or, you know, is this a pocket pick? Yeah. I know. I mean, it felt like. What game was it that it felt like mid was very dominant? I'm trying to remember. The enemy mid? Yeah. Has the well, enemy mid the ever an- felt very dominant? There was the Anivia, oh the Anivia. Um, utility was really mm-hmm. like winning team fights a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was definitely scary. He hasn't felt too like crazy these recent games, but I mean, it could be that Ari is another pocket pick. Maybe the A mid lane champions are are his are his niche. You never know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I would definitely be kind of scared of the Sejuani too. It it did feel like Cuddy really knew how to like maneuver that champion and was very aggressive on that champion, which was definitely to Cornell's benefit. But I do think that luckily we Little Otter is on like a pretty fast champion as well. So we'll probably see a lot of map roaming this game. Yeah, for sure. I miss yeah. I miss the good old days of <laughs> Janet going Mobius, and then you just throw. <laughs> <laughs> you just I do remember top that. Lane and you're like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll bring it back this game. You never know. Knowing how like... Soso plays them, <laughs> I'm questioning, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> I was going to say, he's a little bit of a roamer. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so we're about a minute away here, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We're just, we're holding on. We're waiting for that TU win. We want it. You want it. I believe (laughs) Trinity University can deliver. I believe they can. They banned out that Anivia. That's all they had to do. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just, I'm so curious to see this guy on Twitch. Since they ban it, no, I want to. I want to like, see it. You must just be nutty, for sure. Yeah. Wow, it is funny to look on the side of uh, Cornell with those bands. I mean, it's all support and ADC bands except for that one Malkai. So it looks like they are pretty <laughs> concerned about what the bot lane can do. I mean, that Kaisa really did <laughs> did a number make and break, like make or break the game right there. Uh, but I I do think Victor's the Virgin Ninjas Victor will give them a run for their money as well. So I'm excited to see it for sure. But you know, we'll see we'll see how the Ari goes. It could be a secret secret steal. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh man, we got the spirit blossom Ari. It's like we got some scary. I feel like the <laughs> Soul Reaver Draven. That's a little spooky. I don't know Draven in general. I'm like, Ugh. do we do we feel like Trinity met the spooky theme this time? I don't know. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. More, more costumey, <laughs> perhaps. Yeah, everybody's showing up and showing out though, putting on their best costume. Yeah, like forecaster Jenna. <laughs> to 
I don't know. This trundle skin is ugly. I miss baseball. Baseball man. <laughs> oh, did you see this bot? They tried to pull a strat, but so so's, you know, little bush tactic that he does every game. The ritual saved them. That could have been unpleasant. What does he normally do? Oh, just every every game he comes to like these bot bushes and uh -huh. kinda scopes it out to make sure none of that invading nonsense happens, but it's still they're still considering it. Oh that's very nice, yeah. It's like they are just kinda hiding in this bush. We'll see if Looks like the trundle won't even maybe, start down there. Uh but hook. they might take that. Yeah, yoink. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Cuddy will just kind of go ahead and take that that red buff. Uh, so Josh will have a nice surprise. Not really a nice surprise, but he'll have a little bit of a surprise when he comes back. Mm -hmm. Sees that it is gone. A sad surprise. Yeah, sad surprise, that's right. <laughs> Maybe he'll eat some revenge food to feel better. <laughs> Oh, yeah, revenge food, see? You were so right. <laughs> what do you mean I was right? Did someone say something? Oh, but Sejuani also got revenge food. No, because oh. Trundle's trying to get revenge food, but this oh, could go yeah. very badly. Oh, that's true, he is, he is in know. there. Oh. They see him, though. Oh, and they're going for him. Guys, you have to... You have to um... It's like he'll you be know, able to kind of skirt out of there, though. Oh, very good. He's a, he's a speedy man. It's those legs, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see me zooming in anymore, but I'm sure you know <laughs> by now. I know. I'm curious. I, like, want to see what your screen looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, just some, some trading on bot. I know we're oh, seeing I'm different things, too. This Blitzcrank skin is one of the uglier ones, I have to say. <laughs> like, I'd yeah. rather use the basic skin at a certain point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not to... The point when you just can't even use a rude. skin. Yeah. Not to be rude or anything. But that's ugly. <laughs> She's trying to be polite, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Blitzcrank uh, is an inherently like evil champion. Like, what's he trying to do down here? I know. I do. I do agree. I. I don't know if I know his lore or what his deal is. Well, I do kind of he assume like in, he was in Zon and like he got abandoned by Singed. I don't know. It's like he we're gonna like have a, robot. a failed top invade gank. attempt. Failed top gank. That's right. Uh, invade his jungle. Huh. That's the same. Looks invade like lane. this bot lane, yeah. Oh, the Blitzcrank's going. Ooh, and he misses. We're able to dodge that pretty quickly. I'm surprised we're not bringing out the pizza delivery server here. Yeah, uh, for real. Did you know I cosplayed that one? Matter. Really? Yeah, like a, like a shitty home cosplay, but when yeah. I went to LCS. Oh, that's so cool. Did yeah. you go to LCS? Yeah, when it was in uh, Houston. That's so cool. Well, I guess looking at the bot lane, I kind of assume that Draven and Blitzcrank kind of win early just because of their... I mean, they're a little scary. Oop, looks like Oriation will get chunked down in that top lane. I guess I don't know if you guys can see that, but Sejuani's waiting in the bush up here. Probably seeing if there can be like a bait. They can maybe secure a kill top lane. We'll see if Oriation falls for that. Looks like he won't. I'm surprised Sejuani's really spending a lot of time up there. Took a little nap. Got some tea. Yeah, that's right. It's been a stressful few games, you know. Gotta just take yeah, a load sure. off. But yeah, looks like she will just kind of go back to jungle camps. Looks like the trade in mid lane is pretty even, pretty even jungle. Uh, I mean, we see the, the gold's gangplank. Gold's the same, yeah. Yeah, gold's the same. Let's misses another hook. Yeah, a lot of good dodging on the side of Trinity University Gaming. I like to see it. Yeah, possibly. This is not why a I do pick. not play on a team. 
<laughs> this is why I'm not I'm not there. Oop, we see a hit there. Get some damage off. And then we see the trundle. It looks like they're just gonna go for it. Nope. Kinda exert some lane pressure, maybe get them some gold, deprive deprive some gold. I guess it's like this Ari mid is kind of able to, you know, not fall completely victim to Ninja Virgin's victor. Yeah. Oh, it's like, like they're, they're go trying to it. go get Virgin Ninja. He dodges the Ari oh, E. He hurts it's like the he ults? might be able that takes Yeah, and he Sedge forces flash. that flash. And now Sejuani's really low while Dragon is up. Mm-hmm. And then we'll see. I mean, it did. I did feel like that bot play was lending them to try to get that. Looks like top lane. We see that ult go off. Orion really trying to secure a kill against this Orin, but that Orin is pretty. He's got some sidestep in. He's got some fancy footwork there. Orion will still try to kind of pursue that, get him off that wave if he can. But yeah, I mean, we're six minutes in, no kills yet. Definitely feels like it might be a slower game. Both teams playing carefully. We see this Sej jungle invade. Looks like she'll just ward. Go right back out of there. Yeah, still no first blood just yet. Mm -hmm. That's just because of how safe they're playing, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Trinity has kind of that bot river vision right now so they're in a good position to take the dragon if they want to variation's getting kind of chunked it looks like he's gonna oh, have to flash to get out of that ult looks like blitzcrank has come up towards mid here mm -hmm. while the lane's see if he can in. get anything he's going back bot sad and hands empty <laughs> it's like Scuttle Crab is down now. Will they try to get it? It's like they're trying to gain some vision on that dragon just so they don't lose track of what's happening. Uh, Trinity doesn't really have a lot of vision, it feels like. I mean, nobody really does, I guess. That's a miss on that Orn. There's some there's some Sejuani chunking down. Top. Oh, we see it's there's kind of a bait the there. See what Oriation kind of decides to do if he's gonna. He's definitely too far away, but he's really chunking down that Sejuani. Are they gonna? Uh, if he had had his ult there, that could have been really scary for them. They are able to secure that first blood, oh, but he chunks Sejuani. them down very low. Looks like the victor will see if he can clean up. The Orn is gonna TP out of there, and he'll be able to get out. He does blow the TP, but I guess he comes out on top on that trade. I don't know, really. I mean, TP for a kill, like yeah, you use sumps for a kill all the time. That's probably yeah. worth it. But the dragon is up, and yeah. here we see Trundle gets that uh, big. His drone also. Gives a lot of opportunity for that Ari to get get some plating there, uh, which is never really great. Looks like they're gonna really focus this top tower, try to get some more stuff done, try to get some some plating, and looks like Trinity actually got the Rift Herald. Will they be able to actually take down this tower? Looks like it. Yeah. Mm, not quite though. No, no, you're right. You're right. I don't know what I was saying. They do not take down the tower, but they get it low and they get a lot of golds, which is good. I actually, d when did they take the Rift Herald? I didn't even see it. <laughs> I said it. Okay. That's what uh, Trundle had been up to. I see. Oh, and Blitzcrank lands a hook, but Spurs has the Sivir uh, spell shield. Oh, that's a relief. That's really smart. Huh. Is that what does the spell shield like makes it so that he can't get like CC'd? Or can't get oh, like Oh, it's yeah. not a constant, like he has it's an ability you have to call. But then if someone hits Sivir's shield, then Sivir gets um mana. Oh. 
looks like uh, Cornell is, is on well, the is that like his right e? now. Okay. Yeah. Looks like they're just gonna go for this. We'll see if Trundle... Looks like Trundle knows. Uh, well, no. Maybe not. Yeah, I think it's the E. Oh! And there's oh, Virgin Victor Ninja. That, that's looking, that's looking pretty bad. Very first hook of the game. Yeah. And that's a kill for Draven. Yeah, it's a little scary there. It's like they're gonna keep skirmishing here. We Little Otter's gotta be a little bit careful. They got four down here. The, that's the flash, get flash. that flash out of the Little Otter. That was not the best uh, fight for them, I will say. That was pretty unfortunate. And good timing for that Blitzcrank to get that yeah, hook, but I don't not great. Yeah, I don't think they great. even had the vision yet. I think Blitz just randomly hooked over a wall and it happened to hit him, so that's yeah. unfortunate. Alright, he's gonna get some platings on that. Yeah. Yeah, Cornell definitely comes out on top on that trade. They get that dragon, they get a couple kills. Ari gets some extra plating. We'll see what Trinity does to try to make up for the lost gold. Oh, Orn's going in on GP here. Yes, yeah, so Orn's playing pretty aggressively here. Is Oriation going to be able to get away? Looks like he may not be able to. Orn's just going to keep coming. Yep, and Orn gets yeah. that kill on the He's GP. able to solo kill that GP. Does feel like Orientation might have to play just a little bit safer on that gangplank? Oh, Butch oh man! Crank's coming for, coming for Virgin Ninja. Oh, yeah, and that's just gonna be. That crank R. It's just gonna be a little rough. Uh, they take Ari that R flash. Yeah, like Virgin Ninja's gonna set. just keep going. But, but that kill will go over the Ari. Yeah, they're definitely playing really aggressive right now. Uh, and that one kill on the Draven is not not too good for Trinity University right now. Yeah, because Draven it's... now has Essence Reaver, Sivir still yeah. not finished with the item just yet. Now Ari's um, getting a lot of gold there. Yeah, this is... we're 0-4. It's a good... It's like the Sejuani is bot, so the, the bot lane needs to be really careful. They're playing kind of... The trundle's coming though. They spot out this Sejuani. Anna's gonna give him a little, a little sass. Classic. Yeah. So so sass. Classic so so sass. We're gonna start that. But are we gonna see Oriation playing a little bit safer, maybe in the top lane? Looks like they're fighting again. Yeah, it does. This is not looking the best, I will say. Mm. Eat a little, eat a little orange, whatever. Yeah, Eliza kind of wins, wins that, wins that trade. It's looking like. So I guess Trinity University, I think, right now needs to just kind of farm, play a little bit safer. Uh, I don't think it's great for them to be engaging in stuff right now just because their counterparts are pretty strong. Most of them have at least a kill on the other one, especially the champions that where it matters. Oh, oh Spurs 21 is in a bad situation. Flash, He's going to have to. Looks like he will be able to dodge. Lives thanks to the heal. He'll live, but a lot of abilities that just went down. We see the heal and flash. Both used narrowly escapes. I do feel like that was a little bit of a misstep for Spurs 21. He was up a little far. Um, although I guess, no. Yeah, he walked up in the bush when Draven was in that bot bush. Mm hmm. Okay, seeing the GPTP. GPTP! That's right, GPTP. <laughs> GPTP. Okay, they're thinking maybe we can catch Wee Little Otter here. Wee Little Otter's kind of trying to stall so they can maybe look to get some kills on that victor. And that was, that was about even- Oh, the charm yeah. on the victor! Ari hits that charm. Victor's probably gonna have to back Head here. Head home or play safe. Janna is kind of staying up here nearby, yeah. but so are Blitzcrank and Draven. 
Looks yeah, like we see the dragon timer is going up. To. Oh, catch the orn now they're gonna here. see if they can gonna force that away. orn flash. But yeah, it looks like that'll let Cornell University get the dragon as it's coming up here to let them kind of clear vision. And Trinity University is just gonna have to play like really safe here. It looks like they're gonna give up this Hextech Drake uh, just because they they can't fight it. It looks like the Trundle will take the Rift Herald as a response, which I think is good by Trinity for trying to take advantage of other parts of the map to not fall behind. But we have started to see a little bit of a gold lead in the side of Cornell. All right, Trundle trying to hang out by mid, but once again, all those pink wards they buy, like that was four down at once. I think mm -hmm. almost every player on Cornell buys one versus kind of just the measly vision of Soso trying to complete vision for four other players. You can only do so much, so, so yeah. much. True. Okay, we might be looking at a, an attempt to tower dive down here, bot. Yeah, it's looking a little scary down here, but oh. they narrowly dodged that. Let's crank hook. It's like Trinity's trying to regain some vision right now. Oh, so there's the Sejuani. The oh, Draven. they're able to get yep. Love So So there. But he was so, so close. <laughs> so, so, so close. So many things to use here. Looks like they're going to just try to take this... Uh, mid turret if they can and maybe maybe get this no, well, uh Ari bought. although they've gotta get yeah, out of here because Orange Yeah they gotta they gotta go. It's looking a little scary right now. They're just they're going right for oh, it. That's flashes. there's the Sejuani Victor flash. Spawns. We see that ult. Looks like it'll get Victor though, but will he be able to actually get a kill in response? No. No. Trinity University really needs to be making... I know they're making plays. I mean, they did get that mid-tower, which I think is honestly saving them a lot, but it's looking like Cornell might get their mid-tower too. I mean, they've already taken down the bot tower. Trinity University is going to need to kind of look for more. For sure, and there, there's more definitely things to do. something a little tilting about the O and 6. It's, it's a little painful mm -hmm. to look at. Yeah. But you know, I believe. It's always been a I ball. believe too. They just need to have some better team fights. They haven't really had some good scenarios. I don't think they've always been set up the best. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have been kind of forced into skirmishes. It was tough when Wee Little Otter was taking a lot of turret shots. I think that was. kind of didn't really leave a good situation. Yeah, for sure. We do see a, a bot in mid switch here coming out from Trinity. Mm -hmm. Blitzcrank getting vision, doing what Blitzcranks do. Might be setting up another tower dive or some weird flank situation. Oh, Ooh, so, so. this is scary for this Jana. Yeah, he might oh, not be coming uh, out of there. He dodge, dodges it, but, but it's, not it's not able enough. to do much there. He's able to get the ults. But oh, Draven. at least sever sever spell shields that blitz hook. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna take this uh, mid tower if they can't. Well, maybe not. They sure will try. <laughs> they sure will try though. And dragon uh, is up in about a minute and a half. Yeah, yeah. They just they have five Orn four mid right now. And they're trying to, they just get Virgin Ninja and they just take him right out. And they're gonna take this mid tower along with Virgin Ninja. Variation's not really winning that trade up top. It's, it's almost a, a 4,000 oh, oh 4, gold deficit. It is looking a little scary here. And let's try guess heading top too. That'll make him have to flash. Well, it's, it's not looking like oh, he's gonna make it, him out of this alive. Right. Yeah. To go top for that blitz crank. Trinity 
Trinity University is just gonna try to find what they can. Dragon will come up pretty soon and they need to... They need it, but can they contest it? I don't... I don't think they can. We gotta see what they're gonna do in order to... make a difference here. Looks like they're starting up that drag. Yeah. We'll see what Trinity can they don't do. have vision and they're pretty scared of that Blitzcrank. We see a couple cooldowns go down. It looks like... They did slay the dragon. Trundle will like be backing. T is gonna be getting. I think Cornell's gonna go straight to Baron right now. If not, they're just kind of going to invade jungle. But I think they feel like they're strong enough to go to Baron. Looks like Trinity University doesn't even know. Once again, that strong line of vision. So even if Trinity wanted to contest, they probably yeah. couldn't. Not much to do here. See if Trinity will turn. It's looked like they will. They will get they this Baron right here. But this is just not a good fight for Trinity here. The whole team is just completely split up. Although the back line is struggling along, trying to keep up. Trying to trying to get someone. There's a lot of dodging and weaving, which is good, but it just looks like they're not able to get anything here. Trinity just hasn't been fighting together, and I think that's what they need right now. Yeah, if we look at the side of Cornell, we got a lot of gold bounties up there. It's actually a little terrifying. Oh, and all the zeros. <laughs> it's so yeah, sad. I know. Feels good for Cornell. Not so good for Trinity. A little tornado gets too. Yeah, they're gonna That's just. Cornell's just gonna keep fun. pushing here. Let's crank and play as aggressive as he wants. Yeah, it's tough. We see that Cornell has finished multiple items on their sides, although the items aren't too far off. It's just... We do definitely see... It's like we're, we're squaring up for this bot tower right now. Yeah. <clears throat> we got kind of that, that flank there from the Blitzcrank. Well, it looks like Oriation will just completely be taken down. Can they even get this? They They're able to the actually get Draven. that. And they will get the um, thing too. Will they be able to get this? Looks like they can get that. Will they be able to just kind of clean up here? Maybe? That would be good. We got a quadra kill on the Simper. Okay, so we, go. so we got a little bit of hope here. We got, got some light. <laughs> A sparkle, a glimmer, a shimmering star. <laughs> well, we do have the, the next drag fight in a minute, so we'll see if the, yeah. the four kills make it up, or if they're just going to focus Simmer a little better this next fight. Yeah. It's like, hopefully Trundle won't encounter Sajwani here. It's looking like he might, though. Mm. Uh, I don't really know who comes out on top there. It feels like it'd be kind of a long fight. Probably Sejuani. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that that makes it so that Trundle can't reset for this dragon, which I know is kind of unfortunate. Uh, although at least he does have enough MS chains now. They're gonna try to secure some vision. We'll see what they try to do. I mean, they have to get this dragon. Cornell is on soul point. They will get this soul soon. There's the Blitzcrank hook. Gotta be pretty careful of that, just cause it's been pretty bad. Looks like they're able to do some damage to that Orn. Maybe they're able to take him out here. Oh, there's the Draven ult. We see there's some people are just completely taken down. We Little Otters just still going. They're they're fighting for their lives out here. They're trying to see if they can get anything here. Alright. So it's like we see three, Oriation, but, you know, yeah. Shutdowns are nice. See what what they choose to do. It looks like we're gonna just have kind of a dragon skirmish here. I don't know what what they can do. It looks like we're just gonna kind of have a wait out. I don't think either team can really take the dragon at this point in time. Right. It's a little bit of a standoff. Looks like Cornell will try to gain some vision. But I don't, I don't trust that Cornell's not going to go for this drag, and it looks like they are going for this drag. Well, maybe. Looks like they are going for this dragon. They believe that Trinity has backed already, and they're going to see if they can take it. They're going to get off of it. We're going to have another dragon fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, dragon you know fight it. Part two. <laughs> dragon fight part two. It's like they're going right on it. They're gonna see if they can just get this thing down. Definitely a little scared of that blitz crank. Blitz misses hook. the hook though, no hook. See Does miss the hook. Do. Oh, oh, but then Jana that's Jana goes right down, and this is looking a little bad okay, for Trinity Ornal. here. Oh Oriation. Oh, and yeah, then that's the blitz crank. Apart. Looks like we little, little Otter tries steals to. The dragon, he's though. able to steal that dragon, so they're not no able to get it, but they're you. gonna go right for that Baron. Uh, maybe Oriation has an ult up for it? We'll have to see. Looks like Oriation might just be pushing side lane, seeing if he can get anything. Baron's going down really fast. Turning University has no way to counter it. It looks like they will not put Baron. down that GP ult. Just trying to get whatever objective bounties they can. I know, I know. He's trying. And they're all coming for him, though. He said goodbye. Looks like he does get that objective bounty. Wow, I'm really on edge here, Audrey. I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> I'm just, is it winnable? I mean, it has we to be, of course, We are 30 but... minutes in the game. It has to be winnable. They just have to not get caught out, and this Blitzcrank is a little scary here. It's looking for a slice. That's right, that's right. <laughs> They're just gonna try to try to pick out anybody they can at this point. Uh, and Orn's pushing in that bot. Yeah, grab Orn's that pushing turret. in the bot. Yeah, looks like he will take that down pretty easily. Trinity having to give that up means they also kind of are losing a lot top too. Six Spurs is trying to salvage some jungle camps. Oh, oh man, that's a bad thing. Flash See, charm. can Spurs 20... I mean, can we Little Otter get out of there? He is able to get out, Feels but like he all has that to. CC, just wow. That was a lot of CC, although he's healed right back up there. I mean, they got the Blitzcrank down pretty low. It looks like they're going to see if they can actually oh. get anything here. That's the GP ult. It's a flash. It looks like he's not able to actually get anything there. I mean, GP's fighting for his life down here. He's trying to, he's trying to save what he can. 
And unfortunately, Trinity University is not able to actually get anything up there, which honestly means Maybe. they lose this trade, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we see drag fights in a short but long two minutes. So we're setting up for this dragon because, you know, what else can we do right now? <laughs> Very true. They are definitely in kind of a chokehold. I mean, it's scary when the enemy teams got you surrounded. Yeah. Oh, the Janna. Looks like Ari went ahead and popped ult, maybe hopeful about getting that Janna. A minion yeah. with the charm. Trying to clear vision, but I mean, the Sejuani is just like kind of waiting in that bush, seeing if they can take anything there. Clears a ward, and then there's another one. Sejuani's kind of got a chokehold here. Wanting to, to see if they can get oh. Wee Little Otter. They're unable to. There's a lot of dodging there, but they're going right for the dragon. Ariation's going for that bot wave, so. Not sure what to do. Looks like Trinity University is kind of trying to force them to choose uh, what they want to do. They miss, they but is are they able to get? Are they able get to get Sejuani. her? Okay, they're able nice to get the Sejuani, but that is the Let's Blitz the Jana. hook. And they're able to Jana's get the Janna, but they're just oh my god, they it's just a massacre. They do get the here. Draven though. An absolute massacre. I just I don't even know what they're gonna do. Spurs twenty one is just going for it. He just right, he wants that, he wants the kill. This is he gonna wants blood. be good for Trinity. This drag fight without um, the Cornell Smite. So yeah, it looks like they're gonna be able to take this dragon. dragon luckily. And that's um, another objective bounty. So here which we go. means they can they can stay alive for a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> looks like they will try to re-secure vision um, if they can. <laughs> GP's just gonna keep pushing out that wave, see if there's anybody else they can can maybe snag. Uh, that was definitely, like you said, a very good opportunity for Trinity there. It's like Trundle's kinda bullying the Orn out, <laughs> seeing if they can get this mid tower, get another objective bounty, get some extra gold there. Uh, they've definitely decreased the lead a little bit, which is Hello. very nice. They're gonna move towards the Baron now. Uh, although just I kind of just hope they're just going to get that scuttle crab and not <laughs> go, away, go for it. I know this Jana is scaring me a little bit. She is not in a good <laughs> position. Oh. Uh, she might not make it out alive oh, there. The yeah. Ult on her. She will get taken out Let's there. Ult. Maybe not. Okay. Yes, she will. It's That's not looking good for Trinity because they need... Yeah, the All question is now, if, able if to Cornell take out tries to do this Baron no. fight, can they stop no. them? Yeah. Blitzcrank is really out, away from his team, but he's also pretty scary on his own. He can he can take out a squishy person. <laughs> or at least hold him close. <laughs> yeah. like Carnell is going to go for that Baron here. We'll try to see if Trinity they are just walking up as they can, but Carnell's really I mean, they do a vision on it. They're going to see if they can take anybody kind of out there. Of it or not. It's like they are unable to. Um, we Little Otter's just going to get right in there, though. But Aww. he will die. Not he won't die for it, but he's pretty dang Aww. low. Looks like they will not be able to secure anything there. And well, they Cornel secured one the kill. Who? Did anybody get the Baron? Yeah, Cornell did. Oh, they got the Baron. Yeah, it's Dang unfortunate. It. I think Wee Little Otter was just trying to go for the steal, but it wasn't quite right. 
Yeah. Baron was just too high at that yeah, point. Yeah, just the Janna positioning getting caught out is just unfortunate for that fight. Yeah. Well, I definitely think Trinity's just gonna try to extend this game as long as possible. They have <laughs> some scalers like GP and Victor, and if he can stall for long enough, and if they can get enough side wave gold, they have a possibility of coming back in this game. Yeah, they just don't want me to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're trying to starve Audrey. This is, yeah, this is bad. It's cruel. This is bad. Caster abuse. <laughs> Caster. Looks <laughs> like they might be trying for this inhib. Nah, just just pushing in the waves, making yeah, making Trinity do all the hard work. That's right. Yeah, I mean, how many how many Baron buffs has Trinity gone through? Is this the second one? <laughs> second, maybe second even one. the third. I don't know. Maybe the third. We've been here for a while, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even know track. this orange sideline is pretty pretty terrifying. He's pretty already intense. like in the base. They're fighting from all sides. They just need a good fight, but they're definitely on the the harder side feels like. I mean, if Blitzcrank gets a it gets a hit, that's pretty scary. Oh, looks like the Ari gets a hit, and there's the Blitzcrank, and that's that's just it. Oh, but then oh. Virgin Ninja is able to get the Ari back. Okay, 4v4. Oh. One one. oh, but then that takes the Ari-ish, and he's able to get out of there, but that was a really scary moment right there. Mm -hmm. Uh... We little otter getting a little little ballsy. He's a in the little wave. close there, yeah. Feels like they're just playing, playing for their lives right now. Dragon is spawning in about ten seconds. We're gonna see Cornell yeah. kind of and they're and they're trying. Oh, a little bush strat. Oh no. Oh gosh. Wow. They're gonna go right. They There's won't be able to get flash. him. Janus which is good, but that is the flash there. Oh, if they Trinity just committed, versus... but it's kinda good for Trinity that they did Yeah. Let's zoning with that hook. The zoning. They're gonna have to get this dragon, they're shredding through it. The little otter's trying to do the smite fight. They're able to the get it fight. there. Oh, but wait. are they able to are win this win fight? fight? It looks like First 21 is back, is good for them. They get the Draven. He's able to kind of go on the... Oh, but it's oh. not enough. Or is it? Is, is Virgin Ninja able to get Virgin enough Ninja here? It's like he will not just no, because... The charm. They're able to ace them, so although they've gotten the dragon... Will Cornell be able to end here? There is 20... Eight seconds left on this respawn. Well, fifteen seconds left for the Jana, which doesn't feel like it is enough. <laughs> but we're not gonna lose hope. Oh, I'm losing hope. Kenzie. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Please. Jana comes up huge. Go so Jana so. comes in. Comes in. They're just trying to stall. They're trying to yeah, stall. Yeah, that's gonna be. And that is the game. A loss for Trinity. Three losses, two wins. And that is the game, folks. Oh. Wow, that victor damage, you know, Cammy tried. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that he didn't try. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it was a very tough early game. Wow, that Ari actually did a lot more than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. The surprise pocket pick. <sighs> well. 
We will probably end the stream yeah. in a second. We really appreciate you guys all coming out and watching. It's been kind of a wild, fun ride. Uh, come out <laughs> next time. When come we out next time. Play in a new tournament. It's going to be great. <laughs> Maybe we'll win. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Goodbye. Bye. We'll see you next time.